I'm tall, so not the biggest barbarian, but I'm jacked. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, you may, Andy. <laughs> Put your hand up, it's better! No, 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 no. Serious <laughs> throw, prostitution, serious throw. Yes, you, you, I'm gonna fight you. Uh, he, he sort of goes, you guys know who I am, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Goggles. You're Dr. Mole. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> Take a moment to try to stop laughing. <laughs> I'm just gonna point at my feline eyes. I have some time. You've just tuned in. We had the brilliant idea while we were fishing at the Dark Moon Festival. Oh, jeez. To do a dungeon with fishing poles equipped. <laughs> because why not? Oh, and so we Mayor. drank all of the alcohol in our bags, and we equipped our fishing poles and our aquatic pets, and we went to do a dungeon. I feel like I need to close out. Sit back, dear friends, and hear the tale. When fairies flew and ships did sail. You know the stories often told of Peter Pan, both brave and bold, of Tinkerbell, clever and smart, of evil men born black of heart. Adventure and treasure buried in sand, time held its breath in never land. But darkness fell on the island fair, a sickness rose of no compare. Each creature and plant fell one by one, no respite found for anyone. So the island died, its people scattered, those left behind broken and battered. Years went by, no end in sight, then through the darkness came new light. The island breathes and life returns. Within our heroes a fire burns. The drive to find those who are lost. To build a home at any cost. Join pixies, skeletons, a mermaid or two. Healers, never boys and lost boys too. They're here each week, new stories told. So pull up a chair and never grow old. Hello, everybody! Welcome! It is Monday night. Yes, the mask <laughs> makes me happy. Uh, we, um, we normally don't have uh, stuff going on on Mondays, but tonight we got a one-shot going on. 
Uh, so first and foremost, when it comes to announcements, uh, I actually want to wish the two of you a happy birthday, because I know that birthdays were close this week. So T, Griggs, thank you so much. Yay! Happy birthday. And Louis, thank you so much. Happy birthday. Thank you all <laughs> so much for your support, and we're so glad that you got to join us at the table. Uh, show, uh, you can hang out with us on the Discord. Uh, we had some new folks to come and, and join the ranks, so thank you so much for, for joining us and hanging out. Uh, uh, we've got memes. We've got a play-by-post set in the wild, weird west. Uh, we got some uh, inspiration channels and things of that sort, so come and hang out with us. Uh, the play-by-post I'm really excited about. Uh, it's good. It's picking up steam, and uh, we've got a one-shot uh, that we're going to do with a brand new system that involves a deck of cards uh, that, I, that I've designed. So. Uh, I'm excited to actually get a live game going and then play by post. So, and uh, all my little play by posties in the stones throw. Uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, yeah, we ha also have a merch store. Uh, you can get cool stuff like the mug that Indigo Chameleon has in front of her, uh, and buy uh, buy that and and buy T-shirts and shower curtains. I don't know why we don't own the shower curtain yet. We may need I to. know why we don't own this. Sorry. No, it's a great <laughs> idea. We should totally get one of those. Uh, <laughs> this is like when I had that idea to get the, like, the... The Tom Tom blanket. Um, so uh, so yeah, uh, there's Get that. My feelings now. <laughs> <laughs> Eat your feelings. So you can't feel them anymore. Uh, we also ha have cool stuff like uh, Dimitri's online store. Uh, I did not create a new item in Dimitri's online store um, uh, for tonight's episode uh, because I have we have lots of points that are available and we still have some items left in there. Yeah, Avarium Gaming, please grab one. We'd love to. See you repping the brand, dude. Uh, thank you for all your help that you do in supporting us on Twitter and things of that sort. Uh, it's finally, if you get that shower curtain, I got a special surprise for you. I'll send you some stickers and stuff, because, uh, yeah. Um, but please don't send me a picture of the shower curtain. That, that'd be weird. Uh, so, uh, uh, But we also have uh, stream points. Uh, little, uh, little points there at the bottom of the screen. You'll see a little picture of karma. But the more times you tune in, the more times you... Uh, help us raid uh, and things of that sort. You'll earn stream points that you can use to affect the game by buying your favorite players magic potions and magical items and plus fives to their rolls and things of that sort. So please, please, please. Um, and and it, it helps us out and it's a fun way for you guys to interact. Uh, upcoming schedule for this week. Tuesday, we go back to Wonder where everything is fine and everything is great. Nothing bad ever happens. So we're going back in time. And we're going back in time. We are going to start our assault on the Red Keep uh, as we start to gather intelligence and try to figure out uh, how best to besiege it because we believe, uh, the group believes that uh, Cheshire may be locked inside. So uh, as we begin the Cheshire rescue mission uh, this Tuesday, uh, tune in. Uh, there's going to be some, some fun stuff that I think is going to come to life. Um, but anytime I plan for something, it doesn't go through because they go a completely opposite direction. So tune in. Chaos. Yeah. Uh, uh, Wednesday night, we don't have anything going on here. Uh, but Thursday, we have another episode of The Lost Isle uh, as we dive once more into the Titanic mythos. Uh, we didn't get a chance to touch upon uh, Titanic last episode, but uh, this coming episode, uh, we definitely will because the next episode of Lost Isle, we're going to have to figure out another time for because of craziness and Thanksgiving week and stuff like that. It falls right on Thanksgiving. So tune in uh, for that. Uh, then on Friday, we go back to Neverland as we explore some more about the animals that live in Neverland and what can be found therein. Uh, Sunday, there might be a pop-up stream uh, in terms of uh, another homebrew and brew with you, um, but that'll take us right back around to Monday. So... Hello, heroes. Hello. Welcome to Neverland. Neverland, uh, for those of you who are brand new to Neverland, uh, this is uh, the same place that Peter and Wendy and the story of the Lost Boys and the Never Boys, um, all of those stories are true. And each and every one of you have spent some time here on this island doing good and being together as a group. Um, you all have made choices uh, that have brought you here, each one of you with different skill sets and connections to the world around you and to the magic inherent in each and every one of you. So because you are brand new to me 
and brand new to the audience, um, I would love if we could take some time to just introduce ourselves. Really quick introduction. I may ask you to take off the mask just for the introduction, yeah. and then you can put it right back on. Okay. Uh, uh, um, just for audio levels. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. But let's go around and t say a little something about ourselves. Uh, the Enwin Reynolds. Can we start with you? Uh, I'm the Enwin Reynolds. I'm a druid. Uh, Silva. So basically a walking plant. <laughs> <laughs> Erlen Nyla, uh, light domain cleric, wood elf. Perfect. Peg, ten inch pixie, pirate, peg leg, sorcerer. Well, magic. <laughs> Genesis Warforged Druid. Okay, uh, Soul, a uh, keyblade wielder, and he's also a uh, wood elf, too. Best. Timo, nine years old. Mm -hmm. Six foot tall Goliath child barbarian. <laughs> so uh, you'll notice that uh, one of our players, uh, Soul, has mentioned that he is a keyblade wielder. Uh, I I'm a little bit more freewheeling when it comes to homebrewed items and homebrewed classes and things of that sort uh, w in one shots. And I think there's a lot of amazing writers out there and a lot of amazing uh, items and spells and characters that, that we can use to explore. So. That is what you will see tonight. Uh, yes, a la Kingdom Hearts. Yes. So, adventurers, it's been a long day. Uh, wherever the journeys took you earlier today, you find yourselves in a, in a place of rest and relaxation. You're next to a small pond in the middle of the Never Forest. Uh, Neverland is odd, but you've spent enough time here to realize that the area responds to your emotions. And more so than emotions, your intentions. After the hard day that you all have had and you're sitting resting by this uh, cool lake as the sun begins to set, um, what are each and every one of you doing? After a long day where you, you may have been fighting or you may be exhausted, how do these individuals choose to rest? Boots off, soaking my feet in the pond and just laying back Right. Uh, I think it's a very simple I image of just like, it's been a long day, I'm, I'm putting my feet up. Mm -hmm. Peg? Mm -hmm. Come back to me. Uh, I'm looking at something Timo. before I tell you. Timo's trying to skip boulders across the lake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think I, it's, it's difficult because as the quiet relaxation of the birds sing in the distance, there's occasional like... <gasps> Three. <laughs> Three what? Three skips. You're getting better. I know. Now I'm going to do four. And I pick up the biggest boulder I can find <laughs> and <laughs> throw it right next to it. Give me a <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> shape water okay. so that it bounces. <laughs> okay. I want to shape the water and make it hard. So that the second he tries to throw it, it, or it does something it shouldn't be doing, I'm open to suggestions. Sure. But I want to mess it up. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> he threw that uh, boulder right next to Erlen. Uh, so uh, uh, as you take the boulder and throw it, uh, Peg goes, hey, I've got a great idea. I'm going to remove the water from that spot, and it has to go somewhere. So as you are uh, soaking your feet, Peg goes, Voom, the water shapes and dumps on top of you, and she goes, ha, ah. <laughs> uh, Soul, what are you doing? Uh, Soul will be doing something similar, just finding a field, laying you know, straight back, looking up at the sky, wondering you know, what's going to happen next. Sure. Give me a perception check. Oh, nice. 17? <laughs> yeah, you stare up at the sky. And uh, as you're staring up at the sky, like I said, the sun is just beginning to set, so some of the stars are starting to twinkle above you. Um, it's odd. They, there's a bit of a flare while you're watching. You don't know what that means, but just the, the, the stars, the ones that you can see in, in the sky above in that golden hour of twilight begin to flare very briefly. Um, what about Genesis? What is Genesis doing? Genesis is probably like sitting cross-legged on the ground, kind of just listening to nature, maybe meditating a little bit. 
Yeah. Uh, so it's, it's fun to me that like three of the members of the group are like, mm, like it was a long day. Let's spend some time communing with. <gasps> <laughs> you know, like. We all have different ways of letting out stress. And the Edwin Reynolds. Uh, he's probably laying out somewhere catching the last rays of sun. Right. Uh, I would love to picture like you've constructed some uh, ramshackle. Um, what is the, the old like l- l- like the sunning? <laughs> yeah. But it's like just three ornate mirrors, and uh, uh, as you're sitting down and like they throw the rock, you like nice, <laughs> and come back. Um, the din of playing games and things of that sort is interrupted by the sound of a scream. Um, uh, a far off in the distance from where you all are encamped, you hear the sound of running uh, and uh, leaves and, and, and tree limbs being pushed off to the side as uh, your small camp is invaded uh, by a man who is around five feet tall, somewhat short, dressed in very ornate clothing. He looks elvish in features, um, he is wearing a red and gold outfit that looks ostentatious, um, but his hands are being held by a set of uh, like manacles that, that are glowing this bright blue energy. And as he comes into the clearing, he's got a cut against the right side of his face, and uh, not only that, but he looks like half of his body is um, charbroiled. Uh, like it's it's covered in in ash and 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 a bit blackened. Um, as he stumbles into the camp and looks at each and every one of you, uh, he 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 holds out his hands and he says, "Help me, please, help me! I I I I, I th- they'll be here any second. Can, can any of you can can any of you help me, please?" And just he'll look about the the group and then deep breath. He'll pass out. Yeah, that's about what I thought was going to happen. Uh, face first, in in into the dirt in front of everyone. Uh, as he passes out, the manacles uh, still glow, but the light dims. It's evening, right? It is evening time. Um, I would say as he runs into camp, um, the the sun is just almost about to set. Is there? Uh, am I hearing any movement that's coming after him? Give me way? perception checks as you okay. take a brief second. 19 plus 3, uh, 22. 22. Uh, you stand there, uh, uh, sort of scoping out the horizon. Uh, there is a sigh that issues forth from the Edward Reynolds as he folds up his uh, little tanning station, puts it to the side, and just stands up. Um, but nothing from where he said that people were following him from? The two of you uh, notice that, yes. Uh, from the direction that he was saying, it's 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 faint, but you're hearing muffled voices. I cast invisibility on him. Okay. Uh, uh, no. Uh, so you oh. go to. No. <laughs> Wait a minute! I don't. Hang and, on. No, I'm sorry. You go to cast invisibility on him. The manacles flare brighter than they were before, and the spell is is tossed aside. Now you do not lose that spell slot. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, but the spell does not. Connect. Seeing that, I am going to cast plant growth. Okay. Behind him. Okay. A ways behind him. So, so a ways behind, almost as if to block sightline uh, from. Well, it makes uh, it's a hundred foot radius. Okay. So, from like, there's gonna be a, a small patch where he's at, and then everything for two hundred feet is gonna just... be difficult terrain. Okay. Everywhere behind him. Perfect. Uh, you guys watch as the Emin Reynolds uh, outstretches a hand, and as he does, uh, what does it take? Like th- thorns, like viney, like bushes that just sort of like prickle bushes. Anything just thick and overgrown. It doesn't do any damage. Thick and overgrown that just sort of uh, it would impede movement to anyone are, coming in. Are there any like birds nearby? Any birds? Yeah. Uh, perception check as as you start scoping and looking throughout the trees. Uh. <laughs> 12 minus 1, because I have a negative 1 to perception. <laughs> um, there's no bird, but there's a raccoon who seems a little fearless. Okay, He's just like gonna, sitting in a tree. Uh, um, I have speak uh, speak with animals at will. Okay. Um, and I'm going to His ask, name is Will, so this works. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm going to walk over to Will and say, 
Can you go see how many people are coming? Oh, there, where there's a will, there's a way. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, not how many are here. How there's many a guy in the plants. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're good at counting for a raccoon. Thanks. Can you go and see what's in the forest? What do you give me? What do you want? Food. I have food. I would like that. Okay, you go tell me how many people are in the woods coming this way, and I will give you this. And I'll hold up a piece of uh, jerky from my Persuasion check at advantage. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, 17 plus zero. 17. 17. Give me a, uh, uh give me a dexterity check, please. Dexterity check? <laughs> I don't like that. <laughs> does he get, does he get to use his danger sense? No, it's not a, it's not an attack. It's not a trap or anything like that. It's yeah. an eight. Uh, he grabs the jerky from your hand and then takes off into the forest. I hate raccoons. <laughs> uh, anybody Genesis, else doing anything with your time? Genesis, Soul, help me move him closer to the pond, away, yeah. away from the thicket. I'll help. Yeah, uh, as you go over into him, uh, he's uh, uh, he's unconscious. He's unresponsive. Uh, as you drag him, uh, is, uh, are we being gentle about this? Is yes. his expediency? Yeah, he's the, he's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> There's three of us, so these two have the arms, I have the legs, and we're just going to move him toward the pond. So yeah, can... it's easy enough. As you move him closer to or towards where the pond is, uh, he's muttering to himself. Uh, like it, it's almost one of those like uh, like it, it's not it's not sounding like casting. It's almost like somebody talking in their sleep of like um, something about a penguin on a seesaw. Yeah, the bald eagle <laughs> took my bacon. Like it's something along those lines. The raccoon took my jerky. Okay, uh, <laughs> he's moved over there. Um, they're still muttering off in the forest. There's a bit of time that passes as everybody just remains still. Um, Timo would go over by by a tree and stand at the back end, ready. Uh, the, uh, the raccoon comes back. Will comes back, okay. uh, climbing up to the tree, and he goes, "Lots, like fifteen to twenty. I'm good at counting. <laughs> I'll hand him another piece of jerky. Okay, uh, from your pack." Yeah. Is it like a bag? Yeah. Alright, dexterity check. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. This is the most important role you're ever going to Yeah, have. I know. It's 13. Uh, no, he takes the entire bag and runs off and back into the forest. I chase him. Uh, okay, uh, Timo takes off from the group, uh, <laughs> running into the forest. Uh, this is great. This is better than I could have imagined. Uh, Timo, uh, Timo the small child, you guys have about uh, one second before Timo is, is past everyone into the forest chasing after a raccoon. I guess command to tell him to stop. That's a wisdom save. <laughs> We're just going to say I failed at. <laughs> yeah, he's <Stop. laughs> Timo, uh, uh, I mean, I got, I actually, I got a 16. Tie. Tie uh, he breaks it. No, yeah, he, 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 he Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah uh, so, uh, you, but it, it, it sounds like Erlen really wants you to stop. Uh, as Timo gets close uh, to the outer edge of, of this thicket and, and having to run through this difficult terrain, um, past this area, as this area is sort of scoped out in front of you, um, the first of a group of individuals walk into the clearing. Uh, the first three individuals that you see uh, is a gentleman that's uh, human in appearance uh, and leans forward. He's got long black hair that is so matted and, and like dirty that it hangs over his face and his eyes almost cannot be seen. As he walks forward, uh, there is a gentleman that is walking next to him that looks like to be in traditional pirate garb, um, but he is dragging another man that is looped with a chain around his neck. So think scraggly black haired guy, guy uh, that has like just sort of brown hair, innocuous pirate. But as he's dragging this individual that's wrapped to a chain, this individual is blue skinned. Uh, there are no eyes that you can see in this 
individual that's chained, and every once in a while, a little spark of lightning will travel between one eye socket to the other. So you don't see eyes, you just see like white, but you see enough to see this almost like this transfer of like like going from one space to the next. Okay? Okay. Ahoy! Ahoy! Uh, we seem to... We seem to have lost uh, a prey of ours and... We were uh, hoping he might have come this way. What do you call yourself? I call me Tumult. What ship be it from? I come from the ship. The ship? That's not a name of a ship. Uh, he. It's uh, a terrible name for a ship, but it is still a name for a ship. He cocks his uh, neck to the side as he does some of that hair, like washes, uh, like goes past his uh, face a little bit. As he knocks his head to the side, he takes a shirt and he drags it down and opens it like this. Give me history check at advantage, Peg. Everybody else can make a straight up history check. Okay. Nat 20. Uh, and with the history. 6. 11. 6. 11. 5. 5. Nat. Uh, 16. 16. Uh, Timo. Like pirate stories. <laughs> Timo, you know who this is. Uh, this crew had an agreement with your people. Okay. Um, and even though your people were Goliaths, mm -hmm. uh, it was a deal of, for protection. Uh, every once in a while, a member with this particular brand would come. This like circular scar from about here all the way down to here um, would come to your village. You guys would hand them over any sort of food that you happen to grow or things that you had stumbled across in your adventuring and hand it over, and that's all you would see of them. Uh, he's part of Hook's crew. Uh, you sign up to be in Hook's crew. Hook places his hook along here, and he drags it along here. And if you didn't make it in that last little bit, he just plunges the hook in. But you you know you made it in if he drags it along here, and then he holds it for a second, and then he just pulls it back. But that's how you know you made it into the crew. So he's part of Hook's crew. The ship. Hook ship, huh? Yes. What's wrong with you? Uh, uh, as you say that, uh, he uh, uh, gives a little whistle, and the, um, the guy next to him lets loose the chain a little bit, just gives it a little bit of slack, and the figure next to him runs forward a little bit and jerks at the end of the chain the lightning traveling back and forth between the eye. He's like, I think you got a lot of room to talk when you got a wand affixed to your leg. There ain't nothing wrong with me. I'm at the top of the food chain. Did you find him or no? What are you gonna do if I say yes? I was gonna ask politely to get him back, please. What are you going to do if I say no? I was going to probably check the camp in anyway. Looks like you're not going to be checking anything anytime soon. Did you think I was by myself? No, you've got somebody behind you and another guy over there. I didn't mean them. What do you guys want to do? What did he do? This uh, man you're hunting. He came to the captain with a deal. And the deal was insulting. Something about a dragon. The deal was insulting, and now you're hunting him? How about just let him leave? Persuasion check at disadvantage. Hmm. It's a nat 20 on the same die I rolled a nat 20 on before, but the that other die. one was a 2. 
countered proposal then. I just let the captain know that y'all have them. Do you have them? Well, you could let the captain know that, but what if you're wrong? He'll dart his eyes from one person in the group to everyone. And he'll stop at you. <laughs> Wolf man, you seen something f funny come through? Ah, uh, you're the funniest thing I've seen all day. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Soul, they told you not to talk to strangers, and let's be honest, they don't get much stranger than this. Exactly. So I have to talk to the strangest one so I can make friends with all the strangers. Mm. Fair. Y'all have a good night. And you. Y'all sleeping here? I don't know. A lot of things bugging around. It's true. Be careful, though. Sometimes there's storms that come around. Thank you for the advice. I think you should go now. I think you need to be this tall before you insult anyone. I then, think we think, then we think you should go now. He will nod his head. Uh, pull out a small rock at his side and drop the rock. Pick Turn. it up. I'm s sorry? Pick it up. N no. I think I'm good. And he will turn around, uh, walk, and as he does, he gives another... Uh, the chain is pulled in, and this creature that's... Uh, uh, has another bit of like flare of lightning that seems to travel from one eye socket to the next uh, is pulled back in its chain and the three of them go marching back off into the woods. Um, Timo, Timo would, is going to walk over with his boar hammer <laughs> and hit the rock as hard as he can. Croquet style? Golf kit? Golf kit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Towards the direction that they're What's walking. your Warhammer made out of? Oh, no. This is an interesting question. <laughs> Had not considered. Um, traditional Warhammer? Yeah, it's just it's just a metal? common traditional Warhammer. I mean, metal's found high in the mountains, I would assume, because yeah. it's from my people. Okay, okay. Uh, great. Give me, give me a D20. I'm just looking for an odd or an even. Actually, no. Give me a probability die. Ooh. Well, that's not better. <laughs> no, but it is different. <laughs> Thirty-five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, give me an attack. Really? This. Oh, that wasn't great. A piece just came off. Uh, it might be good. <laughs> you might have just opened up a door. Fifteen. <laughs> Fifteen. Uh, uh, Timo walks forward, uh, takes a look, squares the hips off, <laughs> shakes out the shoulders a little bit, and Line just up uh, your thumbs. <laughs> four, bah, and hits this rock, and this rock goes sailing off uh, into the forest uh, for a little ways until you hear a boom. Hmm. It didn't skip. It did not skip. But it was an excellent shot. Thank you. Can I fly up to see where it hit? Absolutely. And like what might have happened? Sure. Because I want to know. There's a crater. Sure. <laughs> uh, but I want to know if there are three people in the crater. Uh, you're in the forest. You're in the forest. Uh, you're just going straight up. I'm going to go. I'm, I'm going to try to go to a vantage point where I can see what's going on. Whether it's up. Or whether it's depending on is it like super so let's say trees? let's say pretty tall trees. Okay. Are you going to the tops of the trees so you can kind of look down? Or are you going like mid? Sure. Right? Yes. Yes, I am. Tops, tops of, the of the trees. trees. Yes. Minute you fly up, uh, standing on top of one of the trees, almost uh, looking down at where that rock would have been, is a very 
handsome gentleman. Uh, this handsome gentleman is missing his left hand. Uh, on it is attached a, a steel hook. Uh, he's got a bright red jacket on. Uh, he's got uh, hair that's uh, tied up in a little man bun in the back of his head. Uh, uh, and he looks to be wearing mascara. Uh, he's got these like like black sort of like... So like young sexy hook. Young sexy hook. Have I seen hook hook before? Have you? Looky looky, you found hooky. Not a lot of people do unless they okay. serve the crew or they're so about to die. Not. Okay. Probably not then. Okay. Well, who might you be? Hey. I'm the captain. Well, you've got a hook. Shh. You're a pirate. True. Are you the captain? If I was, would I tell you? It's funny, I pictured you older. It's funny, I pictured you a little bit more like Tinker Belly and having both legs. Are you her? Tinkerbell? Yeah. No. No? Yeah. Uh, he looks down Gross. at the group, and uh, he's like, do you mind if I talk with you and your friends for a second? What do you want to talk about? We've already had a less than ideal encounter. I know. That's uh, tumult. Yeah, I, I get it. That's part of his Emma. Would you say I held you at wand point? Absolutely, I would. All right. Yep. I'm coming down. I'm bringing a guest. Uh, 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 Hook will take a few steps off of the tree and feather fall down uh, to where the rest of the group is uh, and land on the ground. And he goes, apologies. Uh, he will take a, a pistol out of his side uh, holster and place it down on the ground in front of him. Uh, he will take a long sword uh, that's, uh, that seems to come out of a scabbard that should not house it. It looks like it would be a scabbard for like a little dagger, but he keeps raising it out and it's a sword and he places it down on the ground. Very scabbard. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and he looks at the group and he goes, I'm looking for something. And you catch more flies with honey. This man insulted me and tried to extort me and did you get you guys didn't hide him right you just put him close to the water yeah. right and he cocks a head down to the side and he's like and i think it's him now i don't want to start anything you look like fine people but i'm i want him back so how do we do this timo is holding his javelin of lightning god i hate kids um, <laughs> you're a hook pirate. I am a hook pirate. We don't talk to hook pirates. Well, it's fine. Uh, then I did. Maybe you should shut up. Sorry, know. sorry. That was, it's kids. Uh, they get me in the, can I talk to anybody else? Well, we were talking just fine. I, I just feel like, you know, you we're only talk, getting one side of the story much, here. Much I, I feel like we should really get the other side of the story. Okay. I mean, swashbuckler to swashbuckler. Sure. Uh, can we wake him up? I can certainly try. Uh, can we? Uh, I go over there. I don't do that thing. Uh, he do picks that. him up. <laughs> he picks him up, and he's still limped like this, and he's like, get up. Get up. Nobody's buying this. Get up. And he, uh, he takes his hand and he slaps him across the face. And as he does, uh, the, 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 he's, his eyes flutter open. He goes, oh, God, I, I'm so sorry. I, I just, I didn't, um, I, was, uh, I was confused. And, uh, you know, I thought it better to sort of play dead, you know. It, it seemed like the right thing to do. He's like, shut up. Hook said that? Hook yep. says, shut up. Uh, the, the gentleman in the finery and the clothing, uh, somewhat short, uh, is, is muttering now and smiling at the rest of the group and just said, I'm, I'm terribly sorry. I was just hoping that you all would be able to um, help me, you know, get out of this, uh, this situation, this ghastly man. So, and Hook puts a hand up. He's new to never. He came to me. Wanting to make a bargain looking for safe passage, and then tried to extort me. I don't do well with extortion. My plan 
is to take him in these manacles and drop him off the side of my boat. Turn to the, um, mutter, turn to the uh, growly man. Is this true? I, I mean... Did you approach the captain? Here? Yes, I did. Did you attempt to extort him? No. Can I roll an instant? Yes, you may. <laughs> <laughs> that was a 19. He absolutely tried to extort him. Okay, okay, okay. Just like, and all I do is... Yes, okay, the face you're making, yes, I understand, but this is not a, a crime that should be punishable by death, should it? Should it? Timo's gonna lean in and go, let's extort. Conversation for another day, Timo. But how do I know if, it, if he should be killed if I don't know what he did? You because your passive perception is so dang high. <laughs> yeah. um, as the uh, conversation is taking place in front of the grass, uh, uh, you all watch as uh, the Enwin Reynolds uh, uh, turns around to, uh, to look behind. And as you turn around and look behind, uh, the three individuals that you left before are coming back. Uh, they're surrounded by about 15 other men. Um, some of them occasionally having these individuals tied to a chain, no eyes, blue skin, little bits of lightning that flash from one end to the other. Some of these blue skin men have extra arms. Uh, some of them have, uh, one of them on the far end has an extra leg. Uh, and these individuals are being led into the clearing with chains, but for the most part, it's a, it's, it's a large landing party. But... The gentleman that you were speaking to is st still gathering everyone's attention. Folks, we might have some company here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just kind of like taps and then points. Uh, oh yeah, Will said there were a bunch of them. Will? The one who stole my jerky. The raccoon, got it. Listen, I'm all for someone who should be punished for what was obviously a really dumb choice, but I can't agree that one bad choice when you've just gotten here shouldn't mean instant death. Agreed. Who's the leader of the group? Hook asked us. Who's the leader? Well, it depends on the day. Who's the leader right now? Given our current company? <laughs> You're the leader right now. Yes. All right. If someone questioned your authority, how would you handle it? No. Oh, I'd make sure they didn't question it again. That's what that I'm... doesn't mean I'd kill them. Different leadership styles. Oh, I'm far more creative. Tell you what. How much gold? How much? You want uh, to give us gold for this person's life. A hundred? Is it going to be easier? No. Five hundred? A thousand? I think you just might have to think a little more creatively. Who are the blue guys? They're blue men. They're in a group. Give me, a, give me the last persuasion check you're going to make. Ever? <laughs> <laughs> with this man, yes. <laughs> it was a 19. Nice. Plus, oh, and I'm good with persuasion. Sort of, maybe? I don't know. Hang on. Please uh, hold. Ah, okay. 22. Those guys? I call that one example one. I call that one example two. Uh, that one's example three. And way at the end over there, that's example four. But they're alive. Yeah. You didn't kill them. No, I did. They're dead? Got to recycle. They were dead. You want to make this guy like that? No. Or just dump him in the water? No, I'm not even sure dumping this guy in the water is going to have much effect. Oof. But I can certainly try. See, I could be on board if you weren't going to kill the guy, but I just can't help you out if you're going to kill him. What if I chop an arm off? Oof. Well, it's not killing him. No, but I think a hand would be a better warning for a first infraction. Uh, 
<laughs> the cleric says this? <laughs> uh, Hook will tap a, uh, a hand up against the head. He's like, you have my attention. Is this legit on the table? I said it directly to you, Captain, because of your, uh, let's call it history. Fine. Fine, I can see that we're not going to have much luck here. The day is yours. I bid you all a fond farewell. You stood your ground. The good guys won. Congrats. And he will turn around, start walking towards the group. The crew stands there and lets him walk past all of them. Kill him. Kill, kill him. Sleet Storm. Uh, <laughs> uh, sleet, sleet Storm is cast. Uh, an ice uh, flies out from the Edmund of Reynolds' hand. Uh, uh, halt. This makes it difficult terrain for all of them, it right? Does, like, and any of them caught in it have to make a DC, or, or yeah, 16 dex save, or they are made prone. They are made prone? Okay. Uh, I'll, I will say that more than half of them are not prone, but the other ones manage to stand their ground. You guys have a little bit of time before all 15 of them come barreling ahead. Yes. How many of them are clustered in a fireball-sized area? Oh, God. Uh, that are I, prone. I would say <laughs> I would say a good number of them. Um, as you start to channel your arcane energies. The gentleman that was standing there that was not taken with takes off running. Uh, just before you cast, I just want it known, he sees you guys, if the lake is here and you guys are all have your backs here, he takes off running and as he does, you all look down and see the manacles, tink, tink, fall off of his hands. Uh, mm -hmm. A small lockpick uh, held in like a little finger down as the manacles fall and hit the ground and he takes off running away from this group. So you can cast this uh, as, as I'm going to have you guys roll initiative to figure out what you're doing, but he takes off running. Yeah, um, I'm going for the biggest cluster of prone pirates I can. Perfect. Let's go ahead and roll initiative then as I think this is going to... This is going to kick things off uh, in a major way. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> They're prone. Great. They have less of a chance. Yeah. Uh, 20 to 25 for initiative. No. So, uh, 20 to 15 for initiative. 17. Sorry. Thank you. Hi. That's me. Peg. Uh... 15 to 10. 13. Uh, 10. Soul. 10 to 5. Timo. I rolled a 1. Okay. <laughs> so what is your initiative? Uh, so it's 3. Okay. Same. 3. 3. You two roll off. 4. D. Evan Reynolds is going to go first. And you 6. Got a 7. <laughs> wow, gang. Uh, we're starting strong. Yeah. Uh, so that one's not playing. Genesis. Yeah. And Timo. Peg, uh, I want it known that if you stand your ground here, it's going to be a bad day. You're going to get some licks off. You're going to take down a lot of them. But a group of 15 to 16 of various strengths, no matter how many have been knocked prone or how many are about to be singed by this fireball, it is going to be a rough day for you. Yeah. Okay? So stay and fight, but you've been in enough combat situations that you know. I feel like, yes. Good. Thank you. All right. It's Edwin first right now. It's not me. Uh, it no, it is oh, Peg no. first. Oh, crap. I rolled a four. Okay. Yeah, it's you, <laughs> then oh, me. I wrote it down wrong. Okay, Edwin. Okay. Okay. Um, I, I want to... Can I drop down my initiative then? Yes, you can. Okay. Erlen, you're up first. Well, I said I was going to fireball some prone pirates. I'm going to gross me some prone pirates. Give me... Uh, uh, so it is a deck save, correct? Yeah, but they're prone, so is that disadvantage on that? That is disadvantage on that. I would say is there... Uh, 16 DC. Hang on a second. Hanging on. Because they could roll around a little bit. But I don't know I don't know if prone necessarily means uh, that they 
are. I know it's no. advantage on attacks. Yeah, no, it's not. They're, they're, they, don't, they don't have disadvantage. Okay. They're good. Uh, I'm not going to roll 16, but I will roll 4. Okay, so that's a... Two, two failures and two successes. Uh, so, uh, yeah, hit me with that fireball damage. Level 27. 27. Uh, I will say that you managed to knock out... That's 27 and then halved... 13, okay. Uh, I'm going to say that you you managed to take out three of the 15. Uh, three of the 15, and some of the other ones look like scorched and burned, uh, but they're built of a little sturdier stuff. We're going in an exit strategy. Uh, they, on their turn, are going to use their movement and their dash to cut the distance by half because the terrain is difficult. They're not going to be able to catch up to you guys. Um, At the beginning of their turn, if they start in the Sleet Storm, they have to make another deck save. If they fail, it's a run. What is the pathway? Can they run around it? What is if the, they can get out of it. Where is the area? It's They're not going to think that far foot. ahead. It's a 40-foot okay. cylinder. Uh, a, a good few of them make their, their and manage to maintain their feet, but another five of them are knocked prone of the 12. Uh, the rest uh, have managed to stay upright. Uh, one of them will let go when he is knocked prone. He will let go of the chain, and this creature uh, with an extra arm into its side uh, will begin to just run forward towards the group, uh, continuing. Uh, that is their turn. Soul. Uh, so the, the guy that was uh, running away, he's already long gone, right? Right. Okay, okay, cool. Um, I mean, he's not too far gone. He's, okay. he's I rolled his initiative. He's, he's a little ways away from the group, but it, should you direct your attention towards him, you absolutely can. Okay, so with a bonus action, I'm going to summon my Keyblade first. Okay, Keyblade is out and summoned. And then I'm going to start running towards him. Okay. Yeah, you start to chase after him, and he looks back at you, and he's got this wicked smile on his face. But you begin. Uh, you guys all watch as Soul uh, uh, breaks away from the group and begins to chase after the individual that was running. That is your turn. Uh, the Enwin Reynolds. You you know this. You play druids. Can I maintain my concentration if I wild treat? Yes. Yes. You can. yes. yes. Cool. I'm going to turn into a deer with a movement speed of 50 and chase him down. Okay. Uh, yeah, I would say you managed to uh, to catch up to him. Are you using your movement and... No, because you used your bonus action to... It's you use your action... Action to wild shape, movement to okay. get to him. Okay, so you get 50 feet, but he used the dash action. He's a little bit faster yeah, than you, so you're about 10 feet away from him. <laughs> okay? Uh, but you guys, your watch as you turn and you're like, ha, 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 I'm going to catch him first. And this freaking deer out of nowhere, like, turns. Go ahead. A uh, moss green going. deer. <laughs> yeah. It's going to get better. Uh, turns around <laughs> and, and begins to chase after. Uh, that's the Enwin Reynolds. Timo. Um, so there's a bunch of people in front of me. Mm -hmm. And then there's this guy behind me and the deer went after him. Right. Um, I'm going... Come on, buddy. I'm 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 gonna move. I'm gonna move towards the guy, and then turn and, and hold an attack. I'm gonna hold my war hand. You're moving towards uh, the guy that's running away, and then you hold your attack. You you're like uh -huh, like as you face the oncoming crowd. Right. All right. Uh, that is your turn, Timo. Uh, Genesis. Uh, I need you to before you do anything. <laughs> I, I need you to roll a D100 or probability dice as. Uh, Icky V has said, "Welcome to the world nice. of never." And you get, uh, you feel as you're running forward, a surge of wild magic creep up from Neverland oh and feed on your emotions <laughs> as as before you do anything. Go ahead and roll a D100 for me. For the rest of the game, okay. it'll last a minute. It's fine. Thirty-six. Thirty-six. I will give you thirty-six or sixty-three. Okay. 
<laughs> Monty Hall can understand. Uh, you feel a surge of necrotic energy surround you. Uh, it leeches up from the ground, up through your tippy toes, and right as you're afraid that this necrotic energy is going to uh, catch hold of your body and, and cause you a great amount of pain, the necrotic energy settles uh, around your body, uh, surrounding you with this odd aura. Um, for the next hour, you have the ability to speak with the dead. Yeah. Let's on all oh, bodies wow. that you touch. It's one of my new tables. Oh. Uh, new wild magic tables. So uh, from, from now on, all, all bodies that you touch, you will be able to speak with the dead for the next hour. So those things were dead? No, no, no. No, no, no. That's just this wild magic surge that no. happened. With yeah. Those things with the lightning yes. thingies. Yes, the lightning guys were dead. If Hook was not lying, then yes. Then one of them's loose now. One of them is loose. I would go towards it. Okay, uh, this thing is feral. Uh, as you run forward, give me an animal handling check. As uh, pet, as uh, Peg, you watch, and, uh, and in fact, all of you watch as Genesis does goes the opposite of where everyone else is going and runs toward this creature that's still attached to the chain without eyes that's moving its head back and forth and little bits of electricity floating from from socket to socket these that is a 17. you uh, as you come closer um this is what happens genesis you 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 lift your hood back and as you do you put your hands up and you actually like crouch down a little bit to make yourself look smaller and this creature uh, is not making any sort of sound and as you've gotten closer to it now you see that its mouth is tied uh, with this tiny black thread uh, closed but as it gets close you manage to put your hands up and outstretch a hand towards it the minute your hand reaches contact you hear Kill me. There's a pop. <laughs> as one of the pirates fires forth. Like, no. Uh, uh. This moment is frozen in time. If you would like to ask them anything else, I will say you're using your action and your bonus action to do this. Like, if you would like to ask anything else. But if he said, kill me, then I probably would. How many other people can I get in my range? Uh, right now, it's just this one that sort of took a beeline forward. You are now currently what in the... 120 foot range. You'd be able to cast a lot, depending on the spell that you're going to cast. Either call lightning or what tidal wave? Either one? I think tidal wave, <laughs> you need a pool of water. You would just use the pond that's behind It says you. a drop of a drop of water. Yeah, man, do your thing. <laughs> Need all your pirates to just go that way. <laughs> yeah. If y'all could just line up. Do your thing. Uh, what are you going to cast? Um, I'm going to cast I would do Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave. All right. Uh, tell me about Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave, you conjure a wave of water that crashes down on an area within range. Okay. That area can be up to 30 feet and 10 feet wide, 10 you're, feet tall. You're casting it right in front of you where this creature is. Basically like sweeping them up and trying to capture everything else behind the creature as well. Yes. Okay. Uh, so uh, I think it's going to be using this... Mm, some of them are already fallen. Uh, go ahead and roll me your 4d8, please. As you begin to cast the spell and it covers the area, um, I'm going to be very sweet to you and say if you take any other steps forward, you are within the Edwin Reynolds difficult terrain sleet storm, which is still up and running. Okay? So you are right on the outskirts of this as this creature happened to run through it, but you do not have to maintain your footing you're, you're, you're out of his sleet storm range. Okay. okay? Um, go ahead and give me 4d8. You give me an arcana check, please. 14. 14. OK. 
Okay, uh, give me a concentration check as well, please. 23. Okay. <clears throat> 20, yeah. 23. Um, 14. Uh, more of the pirates, especially the ones that have fallen, as this cold, uh, as this water hits um, and, and, and sloshes over them, uh, uh, the, the difficulty is this tidal wave meets the sleet storm uh, in the middle, since both are being cast in the same area. Um, both begin to feed each other, um, oh, as the as the tidal wave mixes in with the sleet storm, freezing and uh, interacting with the ice, causing bits of the ice to come up, causing the, some of the water that's flying forward in the tidal wave to freeze upon contact. So many of the people that are prone um, are now stuck in this frozen slush, this ice. Uh, the figure in front of you catches a good uh, burst of it and is pushed backwards. Uh, that is your turn, Genesis. Uh, that was a good move. Uh, Peg. I am flying towards that jerk face who ran away from us. Flying towards the jerk face. Yes. Now, I can fly at 60 feet. Here's what I would like to do. Okay. I'd like to help. One of them out, but he's funnier. Okay. Really <laughs> because old. as I go by, I want to fly by and ca or I want to cast fly. Okay. On the deer. Because <laughs> he can only go 30 yeah, feet. He can go 50. <laughs> but a flying deer is a way deer. funnier. So you're going to cast a f the flying spell on the deer. It's, it's a flying not, ray but deer. He's, but he's, he's, not, he's not deer brain. He's DM inspiration. He's. He's. he's, he's Brain. So right. It's not like he's going to freak out. Right. He knows I do this. Okay. So now we can both fly 60 feet against this guy running 30 feet. Cool. You go to fly, uh, <laughs> and this other individual that's running uh, turns back and sees this happening, and uh, and eyes go wide as he becomes a flying rain deer, uh, with, especially with that sleet storm, uh, so, uh, and begins to chase after. Um, I will say at the end of this turn, as you have uh, begun to move with this group and try to catch up, your keyblade starts to vibrate. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, as your hand instinctively points forward a little bit. As the key comes up, uh, summoning that it, there may be another yeah, roll for pun damage. I, I need to <laughs> something, just Are because it was you? an integral no. part of my character and I forgot to say that I did it. Go ahead. I need to throw some dirt at the deer. Because pixie dust is a crock. <laughs> no, you throw like gun, like wet gunpowder at it. Right. I'm like, think a happy thought. <laughs> <laughs> My happy thought is this. <laughs> Dirt in your eye. <laughs> um, all right. Pockets <laughs> Yes. Um, before all of you, uh, at the end of that turn, shimmers a uh, a giant blue golem. Uh, a uh, now. In front of this individual, it is a shimmering gateway. This blue golem seems to rise up out of the earth, form an archway, and if you looked at the advertisement for tonight's game, that is exactly what it looks like. Uh, as a portal forms and this blue golem stands there, and as he turns and looks forward and cocks his head, uh, there's almost a metal sheen to this blue golem, uh, as almost as if he was warforged, similar to you. Uh, as he comes out of the ground, stands there, and this portal opens before you all. Uh, Peg is still at the bottom of the initiative. Erlen! How far away am I from giant golem gate thing? <laughs> uh, I would say the first one, you are about 30 feet away from giant gate-like thing. Okay. The, the crowd behind you starting to regain their feet and make their way out of the slush. Okay, I'm going to use my movement to get over to the gate and to the side of it. Okay. Uh, you stand at the side of the gate. Okay, what are we going to do? Um, I'm going to hold my attack in case any of the pirates come toward the gate. You're just, last man standing. You're yeah. Gandalf. You shall not pass. Yes, exactly. But if any of them come running forward, they're going to jump through. Exactly. Okay. Uh, perfect. Uh, Soul. Um, so I feel my keyblade vibrating, so 
if I move it towards the gate, is it vibrating more? Yes. As okay. you move the, the, the keyblade up towards the gate, that blue golem and that shimmering portal that seems to open, uh, you all watch as a beam of light shoots forth from the keyblade, hitting the portal, uh, causing that portal to go from a, a blue color to a bright yellow as the color changes. And you hear, all of you hear as if the knock spell has been uh, initiated and there's a loud knock as the portal unlocks. So uh, I'm gonna move right outside of the portal and I'm just gonna stand and wait too. As so well, we're flanking the portal? They're flanking yeah, the portal. Yeah, nice. You guys are the coolest looking what guards. What else else? <laughs> <laughs> um, with that, the well, I almost gave away their name. Uh, the individual running is going to immediately turn course and start beelining for the portal. Gotta get past him first. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, he is going to start running, uh, running towards the portal. Uh, you, he, how about this? You would be able to take an attack of opportunity on him, the flying deer, if you would like to take one, as he is going to have to run right past you in order to make your way towards this portal. Uh, can I grapple as a deer? Can I grapple as oh. an opportunity? Can I do the ground with the antlers? <laughs> oh, darling. Um, Does it say? Is it go down to your action. Oh, I don't it know. Mm. It says what you can do. I, I don't think deers don't are think, built yeah, for grappling. I'm just going to let him go by. Uh, yeah, there is a there is an odd moment where he sort of looks and you're just like... <laughs> oh <my laughs> and you walk by you. without him touching him, can I be like... Por Dude. <laughs> Portal Bros. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh, yeah, uh, and he will jump through this portal. Peg. Uh, Peg is also going to go through this portal. Uh, but she's not up next. It's the Enwin Reynolds. I will go after him. Uh, Timo. Uh, I'm, I'm going to run through the portal. Like T Timo is still... Did not use his entire movement to chase after the scoot. He sort of stood there and anticipated an attack, and he's like, "Yeah, oh no!" Oh, shut <laughs> door! Uh, uh, Timo takes off in a dead sprint. He's not going to get there this round. Uh, as some of the pirates are directly on his heels uh, as he is there, and also Genesis, who is now going to be caught sooner rather than later. Are you taking off towards this portal as well? I would be. Okay. Uh, Genesis and Timo managed to start maintaining uh, pace. What is Timo? But I was going to, if I could. Please. Turn into a camel. That will be your action. <laughs> yes, that, that bonus action dash, bo if I could. Uh, I don't think you get a bonus action dash unless that's, that's a property of a camel. Step of the wind. Um, okay. yeah. uh, what is the movement speed on a camel? 50 feet. Okay, so yeah. you still manage to pull off fifty feet as 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 you're running and like you kind of look over and you like you wave and uh, and Genesis waves and then uh, it's like this robotic camel who's just right next to you. It's got a little hump with a tiny turret in it because that'd be awesome. Yeah. Uh, one. Okay. <laughs> so two things. One, <laughs> um, my my walking speed is forty feet, but. When she passed me, could I jump on the camel? Would you let him? <laughs> yes. Yep. Jump on the up. camel. <laughs> but, I'll, but I'll face this the other way with my hand. <laughs> okay. Timo sits facing not forward, but backwards, holding up the hammer as all the pirates, I would say, you know what? No, I'm not even going to argue. It gives them all just a moment's pause. Uh, that is all you need in order to make it to the portal. Uh, Peg, uh, you flying in as well? Oh, absolutely. Thank you, Nightheart Gaming. Thank you, Nightheart. We love you. you. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, you run through the portal, or fly through the portal, uh, peg first, ah, uh, flying <laughs> forward. Uh, as she does, uh, the uh, it's the scene in Indiana Jones. It's shock, start the plane, start yep. the plane, shock. Uh, which one of you is going in first? I'm grabbing him and pulling him with me. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's Let's a, go. It's, it's, it's uh, Butch, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. You ready? Ready? One, <laughs> two, ah, and you guys both jump through the portal. Uh, as you do, uh, there is a swirl of light as you are all uh, uh, passing through this area. Uh, uh, there is a, a kaleidoscope of sights and sounds that assail your senses. It's almost as if you are caught in a whirlwind. The whirlwind transports you to a, uh, 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 to a different place. Uh, you awake in a forest. 
Um, uh, and I say awaken as if like you've been thrust there and almost as if you've woken up in a strange dream. Um, the gentleman that was stepped through the portal is no longer there. Uh, the one that was running. Um, uh, Ed, the Edwin Reynolds, you were right behind him. You can give me a perception check or you can give me a passive perception. It's all passive. It's 23. That's the better one. Always. The Edwin Reynolds, as you jump through the portal in deer form, uh, you stop and the deer just sort of stands in place. Um, as you do, any litany of small animals begin to skitter away from the forest fo floor. Um, I say you would notice a couple of rats. You would notice a rabbit. Uh, you would also notice uh, another deer that <coughs> seemed to run away from the forest in which you have found yourself. I'm going to wait for anybody else. Okay. Uh, as these animals go scampering off into the wild, uh, all of you find yourselves in this forest grove. Um, the first thing you notice is the smell. It's otherworldly. Your senses are assailed by the smell of cut grass and beautiful I, I, flora and fauna. Not that Neverland didn't have the same sort of flora and fauna that you see about you, but there is an there is just a an an olfactory presence here in this new land that you find yourselves in. Well, if no one else is going to say it, I will. I get the feeling we're not never anymore. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, it smells so good here. Way better than any of the other places that I went through sparkle doors to get to. Damn. It really does. Uh, as he brings it up, you notice the same. You notice the same as you begin to explore the space and look about the space. Uh, all of you noticing the the flowers in this area just drawing the eye. These beautiful yellow flowers that seem to be spread out all over this place uh, and are lining the forest floor. I'm going to fly up to get a bird's eye view. Okay. Theme. Last time you did that, you met a friend. <laughs> <laughs> you fly up. Uh, <laughs> it's a race. <laughs> uh, you yes. fly up, and the deer flies up as well, uh, uh, because the fly spell is, is still active. Um, Please don't drop me. <laughs> <laughs> don't piss me off. Okay, so the first thing that you notice is this forest is expansive. Uh, it's very large. It's It's... You're used to being able to fly up to Neverland and getting high enough being able to look down and see the entirety of the island from certain vantage points, um, knowing that the island changes based on who's in it and their intentions. As you fly above this particular forest, uh, the forest stretches on for a while. Give me a perception check, or we can use your passive perception. I'll go for my passive. Yeah. Uh, oh, as a uh, 17. Your heart drops. And you see something that scares you to the core. You feel like the sickness is back. Uh, because as you d start looking about this space, you see the forest expanding before you and you turn your head off to the side looking behind you and before you is this large castle off in the distance. And as you turn your head, you do see this castle area, but you see this uh, this blackness, the sea of darkness, and, and you immediately pull back a little bit because it's the sickness, and it's come back, and it's that same... And you take a breath, and you realize that it's not the sickness. It's... or the tired. It's the sea. And you are able to find an Edwin as you look and sort of look down. There is a spot in the forest where it's bright green, and it almost as if a line has been drawn in the sand. Color is just gone. It's black and white. And you can see where part of the sea like flows into the, the, the color side and it turns that bright, vibrant blue. And then a little bit more of the sea sort of crosses the meridian and it loses all that color 
again. But you're standing above this forest, looking at the black and white pathway that would lead you to this large towering castle up in the distance. <laughs> I fly back down. Same. Um, while... Castle. There's castle over there. I mean, there's a black ocean and some other really, really weird things. But there's a castle. I'm going to drop out of deer form. Yeah, I'm going to drop out of camel and... Drop <laughs> <laughs> so you're both like, wait, there's a cat. <laughs> um, uh, the Eminem Reynolds, you are out of deer form. So there's a castle, but it's also sort of missing all of its colors. So there's that. Not quite sure how that works, but I suspect we're going to find out. And I agree. I've never smelled any place quite like this. Um, I would look and see if there's any animals nearby. Go ahead. Um, you're looking for animals? Yeah. Investigation or perception? There were a few that ran off when, we, when I got here. So. Um, Twelve. Twelve. You survey the area, and as you all look, uh, a large form walks into the clearing. Uh, and you're like, hey, I think I found an animal. Uh, he looks to be humanoid, uh, but where the head is, is the form of a lion. Uh, so think anthropomorphic lion, okay? Uh, who walks into the clearing and says, we're, we're not ready. I, I, I thought we had two more weeks. I'm sorry, we'll have it ready by then. It's just that we cannot, we, we cannot pay that there was a, we are, we are a little short, but you are early. Can there be forgiveness in this? Slow down, friend. We're not quite who you seem to think we are. We might be. We don't know who he thinks we are. That's true. We, who do you think we are? You are not here to, to collect the, the, the man in the red. I'm green. You are different, though. Well, tell us about this That's man rude. in the red. He... He collects... He collects some of the young. He comes every few months. He offers us protection. He comes in through the portal at, at, at this spot. Sort of a Weasley looking fellow? Sort of. He, uh, black hair, he misses a hand. And he collects young, like children. Yes. The man with the hook. Yes. You are not with him. Oh. No. We had a very stern disagreement with him earlier. Sometimes he sends the other one. The, the, the one that speaks haltingly. Mm. Mm. We met him too. Yeah, he's not. We don't like him. No. We're not here to collect your children. Where is here? This is Oz. I was right. We're not in Never. You are, you are not with him? No. no. All right. All right, then perhaps you are exactly what we need. Um, where did you come from? Over there. Uh, as he goes over there, mm -hmm. uh, he points behind him. But for an untrained eye, it looks like he's pointing up. <laughs> and as he points up, Oh, no. uh, there is a flurry of activity in the forest. Oh, no. And you see, she has sent more. She has sent more sky people. Sky, 
Our saviors, our saviors are here. Friends, come out of the woods. Uh, and, and there is a flurry of activity as uh, other animals and creatures begin to come out of the woods. And uh, you see him come over to where uh, the Enwin Reynolds is and grab him by the hand and yep. say, thank you. Enjoy your rock. Thank you. We, we knew and, and we prayed that, that she, the seeker, would send you. Uh, she would send you for us. Uh, and 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 you we were right we we prayed you are here to deliver us from from those that would would take the children correct he is here to save us and he has brought friends with him um uh actually she she's the sky people with the wings friends <laughs> she is sky people and uh there is an explosion from the forest, uh, 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 as as creatures and beings come flying out of the forest, uh, uh, they the, the running on all four. Some of them, some of them standing up and begin to come out. Uh, animals of different sizes and shapes. Uh, most of them walking on two legs. Um, one of them um, being this large, large uh, uh, gorilla uh, that's holding uh, onto several like young. Uh, children of different uh, size. Like there's a small lion born, and then there's a small like uh, it, it looks to be sort of uh, sort of like a a, a fox. Uh, you, you see the long like snout and things of that sort. Uh, the other one is a a, a bulldog face, uh, but uh, but it's a child. And this this person comes out and like sort of looks at all of you, and uh, the lion. Uh, addresses you all once again. Forgive me, friends. I, we have, it has been so long. We, we, we have been indebted to this man who comes through and, and protects us from the castle on the hillside. We have made a terrible pact. So just a few things. So we're all caught up to the village, uh, and he and, and he goes. Uh, yes, you have questions to the village, and uh, we'll start leading you all deeper and deeper into the forest. Um, as he leads you deeper into the forest, that same patch of yellow flowers, uh, you follow uh, this uh, winding path through the forest. The yellow flowers growing um, beneath your feet, as you seem to always have them, sort of growing on the path that you follow into this small village. Uh, the small village uh, is, uh, you don't see anyone as you enter in, but as uh, more and more people follow you from out of the forest, people start poking their heads out of small uh, huts that they have set up alongside and start poking their heads down from the trees. As you look up, the village is small at the center, but as you look up, it builds upward. Uh, at different levels, you see huts and uh, little bridges that lead from one area to the next. Um, uh, <laughs> you are led into a large room at the center of this village. Uh, on it is a statue uh, on this platform right in the center of this circular building. And there are four individuals on this statue. Uh, one is a young girl who's holding a basket, and uh, she's sort of looking off and to the left. Uh, next to her is a warforged uh, that is standing there uh, with a, a, an axe in hand uh, and looks uh, to be ready for some sort of combat that is uh, fast approaching. The other is a gentleman that has a uh, sack pulled over his head. Uh, and growing up where his legs are, are these long reeds and strands of plant that seem to be growing up from the ground and surrounding where his legs are. And yeah, uh, the fourth form uh, is uh, that of a lion born, a large mane and standing with a giant snarl in his, in his face. Uh, and that is the only statue in the room. Timo would look at the lion, the lion born on the statue, and then look at the one who's leading us and go, <clears throat> you're famous. This is not me, but yes. Yes, this is something I strive to be. Who are these people? These are the saviors. These are the ones who uh, delivered the land from the evil that ruled upon it. 
the traveler came and gathered forces all together and it was through their work and their adventuring that they were managed to grant us the peace that we know of right now it is the seeker the guardian the wild and the heart spring which was the guardian uh, the guardian here and he uh, he shows you the statue of the girl standing there and then uh, he uh, points over to the warforge next and uh, he goes the guardian is the light the the candlelight in the darkness I like this one yes that is also something I strive to be oh the Seeker, the Guardian, the Wild, and the Heart. The Seeker, the Guardian, the Wild, and the Heart Spring. Spring. So the Warforge was the Heart Spring? The Warforge was the Guardian. Warforge is the Guardian. The girl is the Seeker. The yeah. Wild is the so man with the... Uh, uh, reeds for the legs. With the okay. reeds for the legs. And the Heart Spring is the Lionborn. Yep. No, flip that. Heart, heart Spring, reeds for legs, the Wild is the Lionborn. Sorry. That made more sense. <laughs> yeah. You said you'd entered a pact with the people in the castle. Yes. N no. Uh, the 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 man who w came through the portal says he needs soldiers for the war at hand, mm. and takes our children and swears that they will come back, but they will come back stronger, and we have yet to see any of them return. But he protects us from the castle, says he has spoken with the witch on the hillside and that she will not bother us. When's the last time she bothered you? Not since we made the pact. Is this place sick? What do you mean? Where I'm from, it, the, it's sick. We are not sick. The land is not sick. Peg said that, that there's no color. What do you mean? You may want to explain that. Some of the land has no color. It's gray. Right. Why? This is not normal in the place that you come from. Oh, no. no. The, there, there is no one who has given it color. What do you mean? To give a place life is to give it color. You paint the world with your emotions, your actions, your deeds. So a place without life has no color. A place without life has no color. So the castle has no color. Correct. She is the antithesis of life. Forced to die and then not to die. Like the ones... Like the ones that, that the hook pirate was talking about. Uh, arcana check for anybody who's got arcana as a proficiency. Nobody? Uh, no. Nope. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing great, guys. Sparkles. <laughs> so if someone could take care of this little problem that you're having with the person in the castle, you wouldn't have to keep sending your children away to an unknown war where they never return. Yes. This woman's been cursed with dying and not dying? Yes. S she... She is a powerful user uh, of magics and, 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 and able to manipulate those magics as she sees fit. She is able to take a part of her soul and place it in an item. She was very clever in that she placed a part of her soul in an item and sent the item away. The he heroes of the realm actually managed to defeat her, but when they did, unbeknownst to them, they took the item with them. So while that item is gone, while the shoes are gone, she is able to keep reforming over and over again. So we would need to find the shoes. And kill the shoes. Destroy the shoes, yes, kill the shoes. 
thus releasing that portion of her soul so she could die and stay dead. Yes. Sounds like a monumental task. Do we know? We're like, I'm studying the statue. Does the seeker have the shoes? Uh, give me an investigation check. Cool. <laughs> Not with that. <laughs> Not with a nat one. Yeah, uh, uh, you go over to the seeker and you start looking around, and you do notice that the st- the statue is oddly shaped. Mm. Even with a nat one, uh, 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 like uh, the the statue is oddly shaped. Uh, just around uh, the, some of the corner, like it looks, it's bigger than than a, than a statue should be in places, and smaller in other places. Does anybody here have the ability to, I don't know, locate things like, I don't know, objects that might be around you, specific wow. objects? I am not good at finding things. Me either. <laughs> this, right. this may be a, a daunting task, and, and to eliminate that particular threat might be something, I don't know, that might take someone an entire campaign. but uh, perhaps just stopping the individuals from coming through we we plan to be duplicitous with them and Mm. as they came through to collect on this particular turn we were hoping to turn against our attackers and force them back what can you tell us about the missing ones so that when we go back we can send them to you they are of us they are animals but not quite they are of man and animal, the, the sacred bond that was formed when, when man first tamed the wild. How many are gone? Uh, he uh, will look towards the door in which you all entered, and um, as he does, uh, a woman uh, will appear in the room, uh, standing there uh, in her uh, chameleon shape, her long tail sort of... Um, uh, glittering behind her, and she says six thus far. Can you tell us what they look like? And we don't even have to go into it. She looks forward at all of you, and she takes a notebook, and she smacks it down on the ground. Okay, I'll pick it up. No, I can't pick it up. No, I'll you pick can't. It up. Just pick it up? I'll pick it up and hold it out to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what each one of them look like. That's their names. It's the songs that they like to have sung to them. Those are their parents' names. Those are their favorite foods. When they were being nursed, this is how they like to be held. All of it is contained within that notebook. I'm trying to remember as much as possible. Save it. So you need us to close a door? We need to get them back and then close the door so he can't open it again. Or we send him packing we close down the door and we find another way for them to get back. There is plenty of magic. That's true. Could you could you close a door? You do have with a large key. Key sword? Uh, it usually depends on the door, but I mean, you uh, saw me get stuck in uh, uh, Neverland there for a bit, so. Uh, as you look over, uh, you do see that his key uh, has taken a different shape. Uh, the blade itself, uh, the keyblade itself is still the same, but the small fob that is attached to it uh, is that of a, um, it's that of a small pail, uh, and the, the circular part looks to be made of wicker. Oh, a balloon basket. Okay. I suppose, yes, it's close the door permanently, but... They will be here soon We're to, to, to collect. What do we do? Do we, do we fight them back? Do we... How many, how many of them often come? Normally there is six, maybe seven. We can handle six or It is seven. the blue men held in chains and either the red cloak or the, the man who speaks in an odd fashion. I say we try to go through the portal and shut it down first and don't let them through into here in the first place. How will you... Take them out over there and then find another portal back once we find the children. How will you return with the children? That's a good question. Um, I just need a little timeline help here. 
Yeah. Is this this is after uh, the one that we played with Dalt, correct? Yes. Okay. I know somebody. Uh, I think everybody turns and looks at the <laughs> yeah, small no, child I in just, the corner like, I mean, of the room, like, like uh, okay, Timo, who like no. raises, raises a hand and he's like, ooh. I know a mouse man. He's friends with my friend Dahl. A mouse man? Yeah, he's good with doors. We've seen stranger things here. We believe you. And we will support you in whatever manner. Perhaps I could go with you? If we go to the other side of the door, I don't want you stuck. I will not be stuck. I will make sure that I come back with the children. I will live the truth of my ancestor. The world needs to be a little wild. Well, let's at least go through the portal now, and that way perhaps we won't end up with all of them on this side. Better so we to keep hold them the, over we there. Hold the line at the portal, then. Yes. All right. Uh, you all walk out of the room. Uh, as you do, uh, the, uh, the lionborn stops and uh, there is a tender moment that he shares with this uh, woman uh, that is uh, sort of a lizard woman. He reaches both hands tenderly up to her face and as he does, he, um, he rubs his face against her cheek, like both sides of her cheek. And you see these big tears coming down her her eyes as he smiles at her and uh, and goes uh, towards the group and he looks at the village as they've all gathered at this point and he addresses all of them the seeker has sent us help they have sent us more sky people I will return with the sky people back to their land, back where our children are. And I vow to you that you will not hear my voice nor my yell until our children are returned safely to us. The time for Pax is over. And the people of the area will all bow their heads and he will keep his held firmly aloft and lead you back into the forest proper, down the path of yellow flowers, leading you to the small clearing in which you first appeared. So we didn't get it before. Can I... Mm, what do we call you, friend? You may call me Razu. Razu. All right. And what is your name? You can call me Enwin. Enwin? And win. Erlan. And win. Erlan. Peg. Peg. Genesis. Are you of the metal men? <laughs> think, think. <laughs> mm, yeah. You are articulate. Why was your voice not taken? Because I'm not from here. Uh, odd. Uh, but thank you. Genesis. Uh, soul. Soul. Timo. Oh. Timo. Oh. You are a youngling? I am dismant. And deceptively strong. Understood. You are not what I pictured you all to be. But I am grateful for the help. Um, as you begin to walk your way into the forest, um, your keyblade starts to vibrate at a higher frequency um, as you make your way over towards where the portal is. Unfortunately, uh, you get a distance away and you hear the sound of the pop as the portal opens. The portal opens. Oh. Lead, leading the way is indeed the gentleman with the long black hair. Uh, the gentleman with the long black hair uh, that you met before 
is flanked by three individuals down the forest path that each have in tow with them a individual with that blue skin and that has lightning traveling from their eyes. They're at the front of this path. He is turned and is addressing them and they do not see you all as you all quickly spot them having a quiet conversation. It's going to be a lot quieter in a second. Uh, That being said, (laughs) what would you like to do? Uh, You do have the element of surprise uh, here as they are all gathered and not paying attention to what you are doing. Um, You can make your way off into the brush and lay in wait, um, but the decision needs to be made fairly quickly. Like, I'm going to move off to the side. Okay. And provided I'm, I'm going to move within 120 feet of them, I'm casting silence centered on... <laughs> Where? On them? Uh-huh. If you do that, things are going to get real, real quiet. Uh, and I'm going to let you do this, just gonna, so you know. I'll okay. let you do this. I'll wait. I'm going to hold that until everyone You're going to hold is silence. I'm going to hold silence until everyone else Okay, so is Erlen, you're, you're over here. I'm going to say you're in the trees, but you're within eyesight you're hiding at the moment yep. everybody give me a stealth check uh, as we see just how sneaky we can be if anybody has pass without a trace so they want to do pass without a trace uh, every, all right uh, you guys watch as your war forge uh, cast pass without a trace on each of you so add plus 10 to that 29 real quick also how long have we been does that count as a short rest no it does not okay uh, 24. You. So how long Life has it been? I've only done it less than an hour. <laughs> Ever. How, how about deeper. this? Yes, but it it's awesome. been more than an hour. It's been more than an hour. Your fly spell is not working. You did manage to take a short rest. Uh, we had a cut scene in that area where uh, you were bringing a nice oolong and uh, some, uh, some, some crackers, maybe uh, uh, like a crudite. Uh, so, uh, so yes, you can all mark down a short rest if you have any abilities that refresh on a short rest, or if any of you needed to roll hit dice, uh, you can do that as well. So, Erlen, you're over here on this side. What were my stealth rolls? 29? 29. 28. 28? 26. Dude. Damn, I missed it by one. 16. 16, even with that plus 10. Yeah. Oof, a doof. Okay. 27. 27. 24. <laughs> More successes than failures uh-huh. as you're like... Guys, I'm going to cast Pass Without a Trace. Is this cool? <laughs> 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 yes, I feel fine. like I'm metal and still it would be like creaking. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're silent. <laughs> uh, okay, so early, Timo you're, starts doing the robot hand. you're over here. <laughs> Timo, I've got you. You're a, you're a big kid. Uh, 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 I got our Keyblade Master right here. That's going to be this. I have our, our Barbarian... Uh, we're going to use this for the Enwin Reynolds. Uh, I also have uh, a Genesis right here with C3PO. <laughs> nice. Perfect. Uh, who am I missing? Oh, that's right. We have Peg. Yay. Yeah. Peg's yeah. lucky. Um, you, you said that they're all standing in a, in a clump? Yep. Uh, they are all sort of gathered about in a space... Okay. Uh, uh, the gentlemen have added a little slack uh, to their um, uh, to their chains, and the individuals with the blue skin are just sort of meandering about. But right now, the closest one to them is the Edwin Reynolds. He's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 60, 70 feet away from the large group. Uh, but you guys are off in the trees right now formulating a plan. I... I'm going to hold up my javelin of lightning. <laughs> I could hit them all. You could. I could make it very quiet in there so they wouldn't be able to talk to each other and formulate a plan of their own. Uh, Maeve 8K eight, eight, eight goes, do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start climbing. Because you are formulating a plan, I'm going to extend something to you that I don't normally do. Because a lot of the battles that we have in other campaigns don't. If you guys want to give me the initiative order rather than rolling for it, Ooh. you are welcome to do that as well. Uh, interesting. 
how, how good a look did we get at those people before we went into our little hiding place? You had a pretty good look at them. What is Hook carrying weapons-wise other than the... It is not Hook. It is not the it's gentleman that... It's not him. It's just black-haired guy. It's, okay. it's a black-haired guy. What is he carrying weapon-wise? A black-haired guy has a wand at his side. He's also got one of those same flintlock pistols that Hook has, uh, or had on him. Um, as he begins to speak, uh, you can give me a perception check as a free action as you start examining over to towards where he is. Mm, it's not great. It's like a, a nine. He's got a weird coat. That's all you can tell. Okay, and then the three guys behind him, are they carrying swords, pistols, like what? Uh, swords and pistols. Okay, and then uh, they've but, got a chain with a guy. W but they're not holding the sword. They're hol they're, they've got both their hands right now wrapped around the chain. You realize that if they pull a weapon, they're going to have to take at least one of those hands off the chain. Okay. Mm. Okay. If he's got that wand, I should make him quiet so he can't cast. Yeah. Do I get to bring Skyfire? Super demo. <laughs> All right. What's my initiative order? Yeah, you're gonna climb a tree. Yeah, it's like as long as we know, I'm climbing to get a better angle on. Them. Okay. Uh, I can over. fly over to get a better angle too. What tree are you climbing, buddy? This one right here. Far in the back. This one a little closer. Let's do that one. Do this one. Give me an athletics check. I have a climb speed. Okay, then give me another stealth check since you are moving now and climbing a tree and you're trying to be a stealthy. You can still add the plus 10. 20, or 13. No, 23. 23. Okay, yeah. You managed to climb to the top of this tree. Uh, you were uh, obscured. Uh, and so you've got about, I would say, amidst those branches and things of that stuff, you've got two thirds cover. Cool. Okay? That is. Emin, do you want to roll initiative, or do you want to give me the initiative order? I'm happy to. I'd, I'd rather go mid-initiative. I was going to say before we went off, um, I, I can shrink things, people, and I'm wondering if those blue guys are helping to power these people. I'm wondering if we get one of those blue guys out of the way, if we might have some sort of advantage. I might try getting one of those guys out of the way. Sounds good. Um, I... You relayed that there's a gun, right? Yeah. Flintlock. Um, so Timo has spent enough time around pirates. I would assume that he knows that these are full of gunpowder. Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. Give me an intelligence check right now. <laughs> you had me until you were like gunpowder. It's like Timo's like the black powder that makes things go to Nat home. twenty. Yes, yeah, so you know that they're filled with. Gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> you spent a lot of time playing with gunpowder. <laughs> Skyfire makes black dust go boom. Can you make the black dust go boom from here? Yes. You you realize that it probably. <laughs> <laughs> it's still it's still protect. It's not like they're holding like all right now let's all hold these loose piles in our hands and wait for the moment like no they're not holding it loose it's right. still in the gun and it's stuff. in the gun yeah. yeah but if I were to get a direct hit with a bolt of lightning if you were to get a, a direct chance. hit there is a good chance you would ignite and they would have a pocket full of problems yeah. All right. I'm going to start. How far? They're like 60 feet-ish. They're starting. Uh, this conversation looks like it's winding down. Okay. I'm, I'm going to start flying around stealthily, kind of behind. I want to get behind them. Oh, like oh, around yeah, this way? Around. Yeah, I want to get behind Stealth them. check at disadvantage. You know, just stealth check. But I'm flying. You are flying. Yes. Okay. Uh, so I will say it's not a disadvantage, but okay. you are without plus 10 as you move out of her no, field. No, that's not going to do that. No. That wasn't great. Um, that was a seven. All of their eyes. Uh, as you go, I'm going to get right behind them to, like, you're flying, you're flying, you're flying, and you just accidentally clip a, a branch, and they all turn around. And cool. I'm distracting everybody from looking in that direction. Yes. Uh, all just eyes like dart planned. there, and now we're going to roll initiative. Uh, so <laughs> as all eyes dart, turn, is there a problem, officers? And we go right to the scene from training places. Okay, you know what? Cool. I'm all about it. I'll just go ahead and say. You mind if we dance seven. with your dates? Not at all. We were just <laughs> leaving. <laughs> we gotta go. We gotta go. I've got a minute. I rolled a seven. I'll be back. <laughs> seven. Uh, twenty to twenty-five. Twenty-five. 
What? 20 to 15. 17. Hang on. I have to roll from my boys. Oh, okay. Also 17. He's going first. Uh, sorry, uh, who's going first? He's. We both got 17, but he's going first. All right, so that's Erlen first. Followed by the Enwin Reynolds. Uh, tw- uh, 15 to 10. 11. 11. That's our girl. Genesis. 10 to 5. 6. 6. He was a 7. That's right. Uh, so we're going to put... Pirates right here. Right where? Where was that? Right. In initiative order. <laughs> uh, Timo. <laughs> and then Soul. And then uh, who's up next? Peg. I was at the top. You're at the. Th- what did you get, Peg? It was a. 17, right? I don't even remember now. We rolled 17. I don't know what No, I was 18. I was... Okay. Okay, perfect. Peg. Can we switch? Okay, cool. I think that's everybody. Uh, hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> so at the top of the initiative order, uh, the uh, blue-skinned individuals uh, who uh, rolled obscenely high, and they are being held um, by chains, and unfortunately, those chains catch right there. Uh, so they are not able to really do uh, much as they are being held by the chains and they stand there. Um, actually, yeah, uh, five, 10, 15. This last, uh, you watch as uh, suddenly out from their body um, uh, where those, uh, some of them had the extra arms, you see these tentacles start growing out of their back. Uh, and whipping outward almost like jellyfish tentacles. One of them reaches forward and tries to hit uh, Peg, and definitely hits Peg uh, with a nat 20. We're gonna start strong right off the bat. Um, So you are grappled uh, as this thing whips around you uh, and uh, holds you tight. Okay, Uh, that is its turn. Okay, no damage? No damage. Okay. Uh, now, at the top of your turn, uh, you are going to take... Uh, you are going to take three whopping points of lightning damage Ooh. as that tentacle dzz, electrifies, uh, sending the lightning damage uh, coursing through it. Got it. Um, my turn, right? Um, yes, as the they are still being held by chains. I am using one sorcery point to cast a spell without verbal or somatic components. Okay. Um, and I am going to cast... Oh, uh, I'm going to use one of my daily reducing spells. Um, uh, I am going to use it on the blue guy in front of me. The one that's grappling me. Okay. What is now, the what is the save? Uh, it is a con save of shoot 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 shoot. I should know this. Um, four, fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, it makes it safe. It's able to shrug the magic off. So that didn't work. Never mind. Well. All right. You are still being held by the tentacle in place, um, and. Um, uh, can I use? Oh, I can stack sorcery points. You can. Okay, so then I will. This is Peg's turn. Erland, you're up next. Yep. Um, so I'm going to use two more sorcery points to cast Quickened Spell. Okay. Um, and I am going to hit this guy with Shocking Grasp since he's grappling me anyway. Okay. So it is a plus six to hit. So you're just you're channeling that shocking grasp into the tentacle itself. Yep. Okay. To let go of me. Wow, I am rolling so poorly. That was a nine to hit. Uh, a nine does not hit. Yep. Got it. Yep. All right, that is your turn. Uh, Cool. Uh, with that, Erlen, it is your turn as you are up and you see that this this particular creature is grappling uh, uh, Peg and the other ones have all turned their back towards you. So any attack that you make will be at advantage. Good to know. 
Um, Peg took one for the team. She did, and I'm and I'm very appreciative. Which is why I'm going to Daka 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 with Scorching Ray. Daka Daka Daka. Okay, cool. Uh, give me uh, how many attacks is this? It's three. three rays. Give me. Are you Scorching Ray? Who wants to know? Who are you attacking? I'm Kit, the dude in the front, orange. Dude in the front. Okay, so the uh, black-haired, yeah. uh, sort of yep. scraggly-looking dude. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, give me three attack rolls at advantage. That is an 18 to hit. Good night, Nightheart Gaming. Thank you so much for the support. We love you guys. Uh, 18, uh, 18 hits. Adjusted 20. Uh, just a 20 hits. And 24. Uh, all three of those hit. Roll damage. Nice. Congrats, you have his attention. Good. Oh no, you have his attention. Bad. <laughs> Seven. Nine. I am going to say that you are in the tree line here, and the, these are ranged Six. attacks, so I'm going to say that you moved yeah. out. What is the range on Scorching Ray? That's uh, about 120 feet. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> okay. But you move out away from the tree line and away from the... 22 total. 22 total. Yep. Oof. Uh, he turns around uh, with a snarl and looks in your direction. So, congrats. You doing anything with your bonus action? Bonus action? Uh, not as of yet, no. All right, that's Erlon, uh, the Emwyn Reynolds. Can I see Peg? Uh, you definitely can see Peg. Uh, she's being grappled by one of these little creatures. Uh, I'm going to cast Healing Spirit. Okay. It is going to look exactly like Peg. Oh. It can look like a transparent beast or fae of my choice. She's a fae, <laughs> so it looks like her. It appears in a 5x5 five five cube. Why do so I fear like that her. you have been holding on to this? Uh, okay. Uh, where do you cast uh, Healing Spirit? Uh, about 15 feet away from her. Where's the? What's the range on Healing Spirit? 60. Yeah, okay. So uh, you say 15 feet, like right here? Sure. Okay. And then with my bonus action, I'm going to have it fly around her. Okay. At, like taunting them. And then... And right next to her. You have a healing spirit that so you flying around with. Yes. <laughs> Enjoy this. I oh both. Gosh, you read my Christmas list. <laughs> <laughs> the healing spirit is taunting them. Uh, what is the he healing spirit doing? I'm so very glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, the healing spirit. This is a very clever usage of this spell. Thank you so much. Uh, spirit looks like a transparent beast. You can, the spell ends. Whenever you are a creature, you can see moves into the spirit space for the first time or turn. You can cause the spirit to restore. All right, so it flies around. Where does it end? It just flies around Somewhere the area? Somewhere within five feet of Peg. Okay. So the spirit... Uh, so it's not staying with me. It stopped there. Mm -hmm. It like flew around you because it has thirty feet. Oh, got it. Okay. Flew that is your okay. action and your bonus action. Bonus action. If I move, Done. It doesn't follow me. Like I can't know. go heal people okay. with it. Uh, okay. Close to Peg, uh, close to you is a floating little thing that looks like you. And as you, uh, as you turn and look at it, and it turns and looks at you, it like uh, instead of flipping you off, it just lifts its leg up in the air towards you a little bit. Okay. <laughs> like to, like, uh, yeah, uh, uh, causing a little bit of confusion. Uh, Genesis. Um, as a bonus action, I'm going to use for, um, Circle of the Shepherd. Okay. I get Spirit Totem, I'm going to do the Bear Totem. Okay, where are you dropping that Bear Totem? Right over, uh, this, so it's a 30 foot This area. group right yes. here. Okay. And all the people in the area, um, Endurance... Gains temporary HP, which is 10, which is 5 plus my druid level. In addition, allies gain advantage on strength saves and checks while in the aura. While you are in the aura, uh, everybody gets the temporary hit points. And it yeah, is, and that's around me. So. And that's around you. So it's just 10 hit point, ten temporary hit points for, uh, for let's say... I think you everybody have, but Peg and I. Everybody yeah. but Peg and you. Yeah. All right, so mark that down on your character sheet. Gotcha. Uh, great move. You doing anything else? Um, no. You're just readying your move as this, yes. uh, uh, the healing totem is, is, is put right in the center of this grouping and you all feel empowered uh, by it. Uh, that is a great move, Genesis. Uh, the pirate's turn. Uh, they will all see what is happening here, and they will begin to... 
Hmm. They don't want to move closer to this group. Uh, they're going to move towards Peg. Uh, they're going to use no, their... No, I just pissed you off. Come closer to me. <laughs> you didn't piss them off. You pissed the captain off. That's you fine. directed all your attacks at them. I did. So they're, gonna, they're just going to take some steps backward, uh, leading those uh, blue creatures there. And as they do, uh, they're, two of them are going to take a shot at the fake Peg. And uh, one of them is going to take a shot at the real Peg. Uh, the... One of them crits on the fake peg, and the the bullet flies harmlessly through, and the other one whiffs, the one that actually was going to do anything. Um, uh, so uh, the other one uh, misses as the shot flies wide. Uh, but those creatures are now all within melee range of Hugh. Um, that is the pirate's turn. Uh, Timo. Um, who's in front of me? Uh, currently, it is uh, the Keyblade Wielder Soul, and uh, the Healing Spirit is right in front of you. Okay. Um, I, I would take a step forward in front of Soul. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, right here. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, you're going to go like, excuse me, excuse me, pal, excuse me, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, how many feet between me and the farthest pirates that are lined up right it's now? It's a tree. It's a tree line. So they all move down. So you've got trees in front uh, of okay. you obscuring your path. You could cross out here. It would be 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You get the pirate captain here, or you could hit some of the pirates uh, that are all lined up in front of where Pag is. Okay. Um, but there's no straight shot for all of them. Okay. And um, who has a flintlock? Uh, the, three the three pirates. You nobody really paid a lot of attention to what was behind this other guy's cloak. Okay. Um, I will. Come on, buddy. Yeah, I will throw. Um, I'm gonna throw my javelin of lightning at the three pirates. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to aim for the farthest one that so I can hit a couple of them in that line. Okay. I, I will say. I will say it's going to be tough. You might be better off trying to aim for, like, the captain. It'll go through him and hit this guy and the blue guy. But you're not. I, I haven't set you up for the Indiana Jones bullet of death. Right. Uh, where, you, where you stand forward and, like, through the, 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 the helmet. Right. Like, so you're going to have to get creative, like, okay. here. Uh, so I just know that I have to aim for the farthest one, and everything in that line gets hit. Correct. So, so you've got to make me a line here. Okay. So this is this is as far as you could go with your movement this turn. Okay. Um, then I. I'm not gonna throw it yet. Then. Do you're gonna wait? You're gonna hold your. I will. I will hold. You could dash and make it so that you're right here, and so you could line up these three. And then the next turn. Yeah. Um. I gotta play this yeah. true to who they are. Yeah. I. Yeah. Um. And then as a. That's As a bonus action, you would like to... Uh, I'll rage. There he Yay. is. Uh, how does Simo rage? Uh, his face gets really red, and he holds his breath. You <laughs> 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 see some of those blood vessels pop? Is he like... You, somebody? Everyone feels the urge to get Timo goldfish crackers. So yeah. immediately. <laughs> um, it is the captain's turn. Uh, uh, or one of the... It, it, individual's turns what's he gonna do um okay uh yeah he is going to walk forward <laughs> uh did you ever roll wild magic for me when you cast fly I did not. on do you want him? me just automatically rolling in i want you automatically okay. rolling wild okay. ma go back and roll a wild magic for that fly for me i think oh. that's the only one that you okay you're good and um, didn't i just cast reduce i just cast reduce oh but it was reduced so it's not a spell slot okay you're good uh, so, okay, uh, the captain is going to run forward towards Timo. No, he's not. Where did you go? Five. Hey, up? <laughs> yeah. Ten. Uh, attack of opportunity, buddy. If you want to take it. Yeah, um, I would attack with, uh, my, uh, uh, club. Uh, okay. Club. Give, Warhammer. Give, Whatever. Warhammer. Thank give you. me a, an attack here. An attack? And these are at advantage? No. no. But I like where your head's at. Yeah. Mm. 
13. 13. Uh, 13 is not going to cut it. As you yeah. like, sort of uh, move your, uh, your, your club and sort of bring it around to him, I need you to give me a dexterity saving throw, please. Yes. Hmm? yes. Oh, cool. All right. Huh, that's a nine. <laughs> Ooh, nine ain't gonna do it. Nine. 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 That's fine. That's you. Fine. That's probably fine. It's not fine. It's okay. Sweet. <laughs> no, that's fine. Let's do this. That's ten, sixteen. Got ten points of buffer. That's eight. 14. 30 points of uh, lightning damage. Hi there. Uh, How as are a you? bolt of lightning uh, shoots out of his hand, and as it does, uh, you see it light uh, onto his chest, and uh, your cleric uh, looks uh, a little beat up and a little worse for wear as he shoots a bolt of lightning from his hands, uh, lighting him up. Are you still standing? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, that is his action uh, for his bonus action. Uh, he is gonna, uh, yell back at the men, um, let go, oh, oh, let go of the ch chains, help me. Uh, that is his turn. Soul. Uh, okay, how far away is he from the group? Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, it's about 30, 40 feet, depending on where you are. Okay, um, nice. All right, I'll run. No, that was your other name. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. I'll run, still in the tree line, I'll run in between him and the group coming. So still trying to keep cover if I can. Seven, eight, eight. Like you'll be right here? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, you doing anything, casting any spells or anything? Uh, you're, just, you're just maintaining, you're yeah, holding. Yeah, just maintaining. Yep. You and Timo have, uh, like, hold the line, hold the line! <laughs> like, you're, 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 you're running forward. That's your turn, so uh, your lionkin buddy... Uh, is going to, <laughs> uh, he's just going to run forward, and uh, as he does, uh, he will call forth uh, his soul-bound axe as he sticks a hand out like this, and the axe forms in his hand, uh, uh, seemingly coming out of nowhere, and bring it down on top of the pirate captain with a... 27, I think. Nice. Yeah. Uh, he is also going to rage a little bit, and he is going to... Is this... Are there any trees? I mean, there are a couple. <laughs> there are a couple. There's one I'm standing in. <laughs> okay. Yeah, uh, um, he brings this axe down, poof, uh, slamming it into the side of him, and uh, the captain screams out. Uh, that is their turn. All right, uh, blue-skinned turns as all three of them are gathered around Peg. Uh, what are they going to do? They, I don't like the way you said that. they're going to start Same. making attacks. Uh, so let's do the first of the multi-attacks. Uh, does a six hit? A, a six? Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, Okay, uh, does a seven hit? No. Okay, we're gonna get rid of this. Come on, go for an eight. Go for an eight. Go for an eight. Okay, uh, this is a 18. That is not that an eight. Does. Okay, uh, you take nine points of lightning damage so as it cool. reaches out, grabs you, and you take nine points. Uh, and, oh, now we're getting there. Uh, 19. Yes. Another tentacle wraps around you. Whoosh. Uh, uh, you got one on each side now as another tentacle has latched itself to around you. Uh, 17 to hit. Yes. You take... Six points of lightning damage. This is my white face. Uh, and then... Uh, 19 to hit. Yep. I don't know how, but a third tentacle is, uh, is so latching so onto so you. The non-pegged leg. One yeah. here, one here, and then one just sort of like... I will say because of your creature's build, there's no way of this third tentacle. So it reaches I'm out, even though you're the attack. Yeah. Uh, two tentacles are now uh, one wrapped around the bottom, one wrapped around the top, and that's about as much 
that chain. Slave Leia that bikini do. that you, okay. you. My goodness. You are cur right. currently being grappled by two of these creatures. All right. I am going to use another sorcery point so I can cast another spell without verbal or somatic components since I'm grappled. Have, we, have we moved on to your turn? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought that was it. Yeah. It is the blue skins. Oh, I thought they were done. Turn. They are done. Now it is Peg's turn. Okay. okay. The healing spirit heals you for 1d6 at the beginning of your turn. Oh, thank you. That's five points. It has to be in her space. It has to be within five feet. Are we sure? Uh, I sure hope so. Nope, you are correct. That's okay. my fault. Okay. I love, it you when anyway. you, I love it when you say that, though. <laughs> um, so, uh, so okay, uh, right. Peg, your turn. Okay, another sorcery point. Um, I am going to first. Would you have changed that? Would you have placed it on top? Of yeah, that? I would have. Okay, then uh, now you heal. Mm. Oh. Six. Uh, you want to five? Can we roll it, or we can take the five? I rolled. Take the five. Okay. Got it. Okay. Um. It's, it is on top of you. Okay. Well, that changes what I do a little bit, but that's okay. I can still do the other order on this. Okay. Um. So I am going to cast a thunder wave because fifteen within fifteen feet of me should hit all six of those. Okay. Guys, um, I am casting thunder wave at second level. Okay. Uh, so it should be three d eight of damage. They are each going to have to make a con save of fourteen. Con save of fourteen. And I will roll the three d eight. I will think all six of them are going to have to make this. Yes. Yes. Nice. Nice. Seriously? Uh, two of the blue skin guys make it, everybody else fails. Mm, uh, okay, so they're going to take, if they fail, they're going to take 19 points of thunder damage. Oh. And they are going to be pushed 10 feet away from me. What? On a successful save, they are going to take half that damage, and, and they will not be pushed. Hang on, how much damage? No, 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 no. Oh, sorry, three d eight thunder damage. It's it was nineteen. It was nineteen. Okay. Okay. So nineteen thunder damage if they failed it. Yeah. And they get pushed ten feet away. Dude. Okay. Yeah. Wow. If they succeeded, it's half of nineteen, which is like nine, I guess. Okay. And yeah, they don't get pushed away. Uh, so the reach of these tentacles is 15 feet. So everybody gets pushed uh, 10 feet away from you. Only the ones who failed to save. Only the ones who failed to save. Two of the blue skin guys didn't, so this one doesn't. He's going to maintain his grip on you. Okay. Uh, I'll even say that these two. This one wasn't, okay. and wasn't able to do it. These two maintain, and everybody else gets pushed the 10 feet away from you. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's your action. You're doing anything with your bonus action. And I am going to... Uh, no, that's not... Oh, yeah. My... Because uh, I can do a... Can oh, let me see how many sorcery points I have left. I'm so sorry, because I think I have... It's okay. No, no that's, I only have one left. Uh, Erland, you're up next. Got it. Um, uh, uh, changing out sorcery points for spell slots. Is that a bonus action, an action? What? What is that? considered. Does anybody know off the top of their heads without me having to look it up? Not immediately. Okay. No. So go ahead and go and I can, I will find it out before the next turn because I can't remember. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, what I'd like to do, I need your permission. I want to burn my inspiration to cast Spirit Guardians on another creature. Explain. Spirit Guardians has a range of self, but I want to burn the inspiration you gave me to put it on soul. <sighs> I want him to have his little Donald and Goofy. <laughs> uh, done. Uh, yeah, you burn, uh, you, uh, you burn your inspiration and channel into the deeper magic surrounding you and the relationship between your deity. And uh, you have uh, uh, a couple of spirit guardians uh, that join you at your side. Uh, one of them uh, refuses to heal you even in your most dire of situations. <laughs> and the other one is the, the best uh, companion anyone could ever hope for as he uh, wields a shield and throws it. But for some reason, you scream for healing and to death duck ears uh, uh, at your side. Okay. It was a bonus action, so the, can I retcon that I did that as a bonus action? Extended? Yes. What are you? What are you? Uh, how many um, sorcery points are you burning um, for I'm, this? I am it? extending um, a second level slot and okay. a first level slot for three sorcery points. 
Okay. Oh, you're burning uh, for like, the... Like, I want to get extra torture points. Done and back. done. Yep. Got it. Uh, how many times are you able to do that? Just in okay. infinitum? As long as she's got spells yeah, to burn. As long as I've got them. Okay, yeah. Burned and burned. Uh, sure. That is your turn. That's your action. Do anything with your bonus action. Um, oh, I, I actually do. There's only one slot that I can do. I yeah. Know. Sorry, I will fix it. Sorry, go ahead. No worries. I'm going to move up to where the, tr uh, the tree Edwin climbed. The tree Edwin climbed. Yep. Yep. And then back around the other side of it. Uh, that burns your... Oh, Five, ten, 35 feet of movement. Seven, 35, okay. I'd say you just about, you move into the tree line. Yep. You're starting to obscure your vision of the battlefield, but you, you, you manage you to get... You guys just tank that lightning bolt? I'm going to need a minute for a breather. You're like, hey guys, cool, uh, get a raid break. I'm, I'm like, orange <laughs> slices, uh, I love you guys. You got, you got this. Um. <laughs> so, um, so when, if you, if they move within, if any creatures move within 15 feet of you, or you move within 15 feet of them, wisdom saving throw of 16, or they take 3d8, uh, radiant. Peg, Both forgive me. Uh, mark down ten points of lightning damage because I don't think you took any lightning damage at the start of your turn. Okay. Got it. Got it. All right. <sighs> that is your turn, uh, oh, Erlen. Uh, help me. Uh, <laughs> save me, Donald. <laughs> Donald does nothing. Uh, <laughs> Damn, Donald. Uh, the Edwin Reynolds. Uh, with a twenty-foot cube, how many of the blue skin guys and the chain holders can I get? The twenty-foot. Uh, square, excuse me. Foot square. As you are at the, you've climbed to the tip top of a tree. You're looking over the treetops and trying to to hit some of them. I would say you're able to see the the furthest outreach mm -hmm. of these four in a twenty foot cube. I'd let you catch the two green, the two blue skins on the on the end, and maybe this guy. The, these two are getting a little too close to the tree line for you to see without moving forward. Unless you can make an argument as to how, like, no, 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 I would totally be able to. I'm going to entangle them. Okay. Uh, they have to make a... What's the range on entangle? 90 feet. All right. What's the save? Uh, strength of 16. Strength of 16. Strength. Not these guys. A strong suit. ha <laughs> Uh, all but one are entangled in the vines that seem to stretch and and, and and gather them. What does this do? This makes it restrains. They are restrained. Speed becomes zero. Attack rolls have against them have advantage, and theirs have disadvantage. And mm -hmm. they have disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. For my bonus action, I'm going to use bomb in the summer court. Okay. On Peg, who I'm going to burn three of the dice, and that's four, six, eight. So you get eight Bomb of the Summer Court. Can you read that to me? I sure can. As a bonus action, by spending dice from the pool, you can restore HP to one creature you can see within 120 feet. The creature also gains one temporary hit points per die spent. I'm spending three. So you healed eight and gained three temp hit points. Okay. This but is for the Circle of the Dreams, Drew. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Eight, heal, three temp. Wow, thank you. You're welcome. That'll change tomorrow. <laughs> roll the spent, roll the spent dice and add them together. The target regains a number of hit points equal to the total. The game's on it. You, get, you regain the expended hit. Oh, so you're using your hit dice in order to take your energy and it's from the energy pool. If it's my hit dice, that's fine too. It just says well, it's it's all the spent hit dice. It's a pool. You have a font of energy. Yeah, I was gonna say because this is, has d sixes. I'm pretty right. sure that yeah. mine are. D8. There you go. Uh, yes, that is a H action H bonus action. And I'm good. Right now, your vision is getting a little obscured of where she is, having to look through this tree, this tree, this tree, this tree, and this tree. But if you're at the top of the trees, I'm gonna allow that you can see her and stuff like yeah. that. Okay. As I I just want to keep line of sight on her. That's okay. the important thing. That's the important thing. Uh, the Edwin Reynolds Genesis. I will use my movement to get as close as I can to the clump of stuffs. The clump of stuffs. Yes, uh, so you're heading this way. Yes. What's your moving speed? 30. I would say you get here, uh, closer to where like the captain is. And, and when Reynolds dies. No. No. Uh, he's fine. It happens. It's, this is fine. No yeah, you get close. Okay. Right. And I'm going to use my bonus action to move at my enemies within 60 feet of Peg. Yes, but she is obscured. 
Uh, like you can't see. Like there's a couple of trees in the way. I'd say well, you need to be able to. I'm just moving able... the bear totem. Oh, you're moving on it closer. Top of her so she gets the fifth, the ten. You can move the bear totem sixty feet. Yes. 45, 50, 55, 60. I say you know her general direction. You throw it over towards where she is, and the bear totem manifests next to you. It's a small sort of spectral robot bear uh, that manifests in the area around you. And the 10 HP is 10 10. temporary HP, and then you gain advantage on strength checks and saves. Okay. Thank you. Um, Now, I have three temp HP, but it does not stack, right? I don't think it stacks. So it's 10 instead of three? Yes. Okay. Let's go with that. Okay. Uh, that is your action and your bonus action. Genesis, you're good? Okay. Yep. Uh, the pirates. Uh, these are all entangled. The pirates are told to let go, so they let go. And I think 5, 10, 15, 20, 25... These two are going to get to where Timo is and start wailing away. Hey, Timo, you got friends. This guy's going to run here <laughs> and take a shot at you. Uh, so let's do that first uh, as he takes out the flintlock and boom, and as he does, there's a misfire in the gun. Uh, doesn't even, oh, damn it. Uh, and these two are going to use their swords. Uh, 16 to hit. Uh, 16 hits. Okay. And then... Uh, 27 to hit. 27 hits, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, were any of those pirates entangled? Uh, no, these two... These two right here were entangled in the blue skin. Gotcha. I don't think he was able to see any of the pirates from that particular okay. vantage point. Um... Uh, the, is that slashing damage? It is slashing damage. I get resistance due to... Right, so this is going to be halved, so instead you're only going to take five points of slashing damage. Okay. Uh, from these two attacks, as these gentlemen sit here and uh, seem somewhat pointless in what they're able to do. Uh, okay, that is the pirate's turn, Timo. Um, they just hit me. Um, so, I have... I have two weapon fighting. I don't yeah. barbarian often. <laughs> sure. <laughs> How many attacks do you have, buddy? Um, I think. Do I just have the one? That no, I think you, you have got two. two. I have two. Okay. I, the first thing I would do would be to use your attacks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I have the two guys right in front of me, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, you do. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna attack uh, one of them. Okay. Ten. Uh, ten does not hit. <laughs> roll, roll for your second attack. Uh, nineteen. Nineteen hits. Roll damage. <laughs> okay, so that's one d. This is Timo. Uh, the captain is up next. One d ten plus four. So you're using a two-handed then, Timo? Yes. Yes. It's different if you use it one-handed to two. So you use you both hands wrapped around the. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Yes. Uh, five, nine hit points of damage. Nine points of damage. Uh, da- plus two, sorry. Uh, Rage. 11 points of damage. Yeah, this one pirate's not looking great. Uh, okay, cool. He's still standing, though. Okay. Um, I think that's... That's your turn. Yeah, that's You start swinging do. away. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, that's okay. Timo's turn. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the captain uh, is going to... <laughs> Oh, this is freaking mean. Uh, he's gonna walk forward towards the lion kin. Oh, you guys, oh, it's not as mean as I thought. Uh, he's going to banish him. And uh, with a blip, the lion kin pops out of existence. Well, that's unfortunate. Uh, that is his action. Uh, with his bonus action, he is going to scream inaudibly at the pirates, and they are going to scream back at him uh, in response. A, a rally, a battle cry 
uh, as they return call for call. That is his bonus action. Uh, uh, the captain, uh, having the pathway cleared, he is going to walk one mo couple more steps forward just right here for these two. Uh, and that is going to be his turn. Uh, Soul. Uh, I want to get within uh, melee range of the captain. Yep. You're in it. And can I attack? Or oh, yeah. 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 Right. Okay, yeah. Swing away. Yeah, then I'll take a swing on Could the captain make a wisdom saving throw, please? Uh, yes. Thank you. He fails. Yay. How much damage is this? That is 11 points of radium. Oh, God. Okay. And his, while he's in that space, his movement speed is halved. Uh, um, where's your sword? Got it. Okay. He maintains concentration on the banishment. Uh, that's, okay. Uh, swing away, dude. Okay, uh, 17 hits. 17 hits. Yes, okay. Uh, so that was... Uh, two damage on that one. And then I can take a... Two more plus... Than that. Two... Oh, two plus... I'm looking it up. Um, is, it your, is it your strength or your dex based for your? It's a long sword. It's uh, so it's it's uh, dex based actually. Dex. Okay, uh, so that's two plus four, six. Okay, six points of damage. Do you get uh, an extra attack? Yeah, yeah. I get an extra. Attack. Uh, he maintains concentration. Oh, come on. And I'm gonna take my extra attack on him. Okay. Uh, Fourteen. Does it hit? Uh, 14 does not hit okay. as you swing away with that keyblade uh, striking it against the center of him and he manages to just nimbly dodge out of the way that is uh, soul's turn um, no uh, we skip past uh, the other barbarian in the group as the blue skinned individuals are restrained uh, where they are they're going to the two of them are going to use their turn to try to break the restraint what's the DC 16. One of them is going to fail. Uh, the other one's going to succeed. Look at that. Uh, and he manages to unrestrain himself uh, from the vines that are here. Uh, is this a is is this a concentration spell? Yes. It is. So your healing spirit vanishes. Oh, yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's gone. So no more healing for you at the start of the turn. Uh, and uh, one of them has managed to break away from this. Uh, grapple. However, you are still in, wrapped in the tentacles because of the length of them. Uh, and this other blue one that wasn't restrained is going to stride forward joining his uh, pirate handler. Uh, that is their turn. Uh, Peg, go ahead and take another 10 points of lightning damage. Okay. It is your turn. Mine. Okay. Um, uh, do the second first, humans first. Um, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do another... That was the bear total. That was the bear total. Sorry. I'm still grappled, correct? Yes. Okay. So I still need to use... Uh, athletics or, or uh, acrobatics. Well, well, I still, if I want to cast a spell on them... Yeah. You can still cast. You can cast. You are just. You cannot move from this spot. And every time you are stuck here, you are taking more and more. Right. Are you allowing me then to cast spells without? I let you the last turn. The source, no, I used sorcery points last time to cast that spell. Okay. So. so you can you don't, cast without okay, sorcery cool. points. I was double checking because there were two tentacles on me, so I thought I wasn't able to move because I no. thought I had two. You are just grappled. Sorcery. They are just suctioning so you, only you in place. Okay. All right, so then I am going to, once again, cast uh, Thunder Wave. Okay. Um, I'm going to, once again, cast it at second level. So okay. So I'll hit him with three D8s. Okay. Um, uh, this is a... To me. Um, uh, it's a con save of 14. Uh, they both rolled a 14 on the die. Ooh, so that means... They Half damage. Save. Okay. Um, it is 14, 19 points, so that's 9 points of thunder damage. 9 points, okay. They, they both look like they're barely standing up. Um, then what I would like to do is I would like to use 2 points of uh, uh, sorcery Oh, points. hang on, what kind of damage is this? Thunder. That was thunder damage. Thunder, got it. Okay, uh, 2 sorcery points in order to do quickened spell. 
Okay. Uh, so that I can use a cantrip on them. I'm going to use sword burst. You're going to use is, a cantrip on them. It's a cantrip. Is, is one of those not. spells a bonus action? No. Quick and spell allows, but quick and allows, action. Spell quick allows me to turn it into a bonus action. Okay. Yep. So it is a second level spell and a cantrip. The cantrip is now a bonus action. Got it. Okay. So that is 2d6. It's a dex save of 14 for them. Okay. And it's 2d6 of damage. They both fail. That would be five points of sword burst damage. Uh-huh. Um, uh, force damage. Force damage. Yes. <coughs> nice. Yeah. I'm going to change this mic down a little bit. All right. I'm going to take a breath now. Good plan. Uh, that is Peg's turn. Keep track of those sorcery points because uh, you're it. okay. I have it. Uh, Erlen. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, oh, I can do that. This could sorry, be really well magic. Twice. Uh, one was a cantrip. Do I have two down cantrips? Technically, it's. Okay. Uh, you know what? Got no, it. no, 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 no. You're right. It's not. I thought a... it was just on level spells. I think you're right. We'll go I with will double check to make sure. Did you roll I it before? It when you cast Thunder Wave before? Yes. Okay, cool. I, yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to move... Um, can I see the captain for where I am? Uh, you know what? Yeah. You, he just happens to be in a spot that's like catty corner to where... He stepped into that spot to, in order to cast. So, yes, cool. you can see him. I would like to cast Bane on this man. Okay. So, Charisma save... Is Bane a concentration spell? Bane is concentration. Okay, Spirit Guardian. <laughs> Drops. That's right. Uh, okay. What is the save for Bane? Charisma 16. Uh, he fails his save. So he takes a d4 away from any attack rolls. Got it. Uh, he is officially Bane. But uh, those spear got Donald and Goofy. Goofy's like, oh. And Donald's like, sucks to suck. And like he just falls away. Like, uh, so he is gone. Uh, but it was great while it lasted. So great. Uh, Erlen, that's your action. You do anything with your bonus action. I'm going to healing work myself. All right. You touch yourself in the woods. I talk, I give myself a pep talk. Right, 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 right. No, of course, of course, of course. It's like cure wounds. Yeah, yeah there you it's go. It's word. You got All this, right. buddy. You're doing great. You're handsome. Everybody loves you. You're good enough. You're strong enough. Hey, gosh, gosh, gosh people darn People like you. People oh. like you. People love <laughs> it. Yeah, 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 thanks. The Edwin Reynolds, you are up next. Yep. Uh, okay, uh, as he's healing, go ahead, Edwin. I am going to climb down the tree. Okay. Uh, yeah, you got a climbing speed. You managed to climb down. Cool. Uh, bonus action for Shillelagh. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pull my quarters out to do that. Okay. And then I'm gonna cure wounds at second level. This guy. Uh, the guy in front of you that was healing himself. That's the one. Berlin. I yep. give a pet talk. <laughs> <laughs> I said healing himself. I know. <laughs> uh, Twelve points. Twelve. Thank you. That's action. Everything I got. Bonus action. Yep. Climb down. Uh, boom, and with Reynolds, Genesis. Um, Appreciate you. Yeah, I can't get to that one. So. The blue guy, the one, there's only one left, right? One blue guy left. Um, is he within five feet of his master? He is. Yes. Um, I am going to do Moonbeam. Moonbeam? Yes. All right. Uh, what is the save for Moonbeam? Save is a con of 13. Uh, uh, the blue guy makes it. The pirate definitely does not. Uh, so roll damage for Moonbeam. As a uh, burst of moonlight breaks through this clearing, which is odd because it's during the day, uh, but uh, the clouds uh, darken over a bit, and this uh, moonlight burns through... That's 16 points of radiant damage. 16 points. So he takes the full, and uh, the other one takes half? If they make their save? If they make their save, yes. All right. Pirate, gone. Nice. Blue skin guy, 16, eight points. Uh, he's barely holding on, but he's still holding on nonetheless. He doesn't look as beat up as the other two that... that that Peg was wailing on for a good while, but he's still holding on. All right. Uh, Genesis, you do anything with your bonus action? Um, 
No. All right. That is your turn, Genesis, the pirate's turn. There's only two of them. Uh, they're each going to take uh, an attack of opportunity from Timo. Uh, or, Timo, you can take an attack of opportunity against one of them as they walk right past you. Matt, 20. Oh. Yeah, roll damage, Bubba. Okay, so that's a You 10. might take this guy out. Zero. No, that's a ten. That's a ten. Okay, so that's, <laughs> that's a ten. A yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. You, uh, yeah, you, you, you uh. kill him. You killed him good, T-Bow. Okay. Uh, as this guy's running away, it's like no running. And <laughs> just, just bam. What? You're dead. <laughs> Are you awake? <laughs> <laughs> he's not awake. <laughs> like, uh, he's just down on the his ground. Broke. He is, his head broke. His head broke it. This other one is going to run towards you and make some attacks. Um, that is a 19 to hit? Yeah. Okay. Uh, it is. It has made the attack. It is not going to choose to take damage uh, or, or to have you take damage on this attack. Instead, uh, it's going to do something else Interesting. Uh, as the attack hits. Um, uh, it runs forward, and as it does, uh, are you holding any weapons on your person? Are you... On my person... No. She's a big battle weapon. <laughs> yeah, she is. Uh, yeah. Uh, he's going to, uh, then he is going to do uh, choose to do damage instead. Um, let's, let's do that then. That's a cool move, and I picked the one person who doesn't. Uh, okay, uh, so you take 12 points of slashing damage. Uh, if Moonbeam is a concentration spell, uh, go ahead and make a concentration check for me. This is a constitution save. It's going to be 10. 19. 19. Yeah, you're good. Uh, that is his turn. Timo. Uh, who is... Raid. Pirate. Uh, some other... Oh, there's a raid! I don't know what... Wow, Who's Faulty raiding? Code Gamer! Faulty Thank code. you for raiding! Hey, what's up, Faulty Code? We love you. Um, so there's a... Pirate. Pirate uh, Captain. Blue uh, guy. Blue guy. Um, so if I... So if I one hand the, the hammer... Mm-hmm. Can I throw my javelin at the captain? You did not go and pick up your your javelin. I've never thrown it. Yeah. Oh, you haven't thrown it. Um, what's the ruling on this one? Can you do a, a, a an attack and then a ranged attack? Can you switch out weapons for the barbarians to attack feature? It's almost like you're smacking them and then you're dropping the weapon you have and then yeah, throwing it. Yeah, you get one free. You get one free stow. So yeah, you can basically or draw. you basically go like huh 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 ja. Yeah, because it says if either weapon has the thrown property, you can throw the weapon. Instead yeah, of absolutely. So, so what are you what are you okay, doing? So I'm gonna walk over to the pirate. The pirate. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna hit him with my hammer. Hammer. Bonk. Which is for the hammer? It's a uh, uh, 14 plus seven. So that hits. Okay. So for that one, that is uh, three plus four plus two. <laughs> no, no. Wish. That guy's head broke too. Like, okay, these um, guys have heads that are broken easily. Like, and then, uh, then I'm gonna throw my javelin throw of lightning. Throw the javelin of lightning. Um, and that is a. Uh, 20, no, that, uh, just a 20. That hits, I need you to separate the lightning damage and the, uh, piercing. the piercing damage, please. Okay, so the piercing damage is 1d6 plus 4. Okay. So that's 6. 6? Uh-huh. Okay. Concentration back. Hey, look who's back. In the space. Okay. Oh. And then 4, uh, 4d6. Okay. Really? It works so good sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it looks good. That's the important yeah. thing. Yeah. Uh, that's eight. Uh, that's 11 points of lightning damage. As he yelled, sparkle. That's the activating <laughs> word. Yes. Uh, <laughs> the lightning damage does not seem to have the quite the effect. In fact, it has the opposite effect. Oh. As you see the lightning pass through him. Uh, a second before the spear itself does, mm -hmm. as the lightning passes through him, uh, he seems in ch charged by it. 
uh, and and uh, takes uh, this lightning damage and converts it into a healing energy, which is immediately almost negated by the metal spear sticking out of him. I feel great. I feel uh, as great. <laughs> <laughs> you will fall into my oh god. Uh, so uh, that is Timo's turn. The captain is in a bad bad place. Mm, nah, he's in a pretty good place. For Wait, us. did he heal around my spear? <laughs> I'm gonna want that back. <laughs> the spear hits. I will say it falls to the ground. Okay. So it's, it's out. Uh, he's gonna take an attack of opportunity because they're both kind of in the same space. I'm gonna justify this. Take an attack of opportunity, and my barbarian will as well. The barbarian whiffs. So make an attack of opportunity here uh, as you try to take a shot at him, soul. Okay. So that's my. Yes, yeah, so you're yeah, just making yeah. an attack with the keyblade. Right, yeah, just a two. Just no, that's yeah. not gonna. Uh, he backs up a little bit and then casts the only basic sword in his quiver. He's gonna cast another lightning bolt, uh, but it it's a doozy. So I need soul. I need uh, you. I need soul Genesis and my barbarian to make dexterity saving throws, please. Ooh, barbarian that's has danger sense. So at at advantage. From the barbarian. Oh. Not Your 20 barbarian is gonna make or it. me barbarian. No, you're not in this line. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh AT6. Okay. Uh Nat 20. Adjusted 20. Adjusted 20. And he makes it as well. So this is not gonna be it's not gonna be as powerful as it's on. Uh, uh, oh yes. Uh 15, 25. Uh, 32, 32 halved, uh, 16. 16. You each take 16 points of lightning damage. That's his turn. So, Alrighty, I'm gonna, uh, swing for two hits on him. Alright, walk forward. Around to this side. So, one is a 19? 19 hits. And then the other one is a 14, so I'm assuming that one doesn't hit. Nuts. All right, so uh, that's a 1 plus 3, so 4 damage. <laughs> How do you want to do this? Oh, <laughs> um, yeah, two hit points left. He was going nice. to go down fighting. Oh, All right, How do you um, want to do this with the Keyblade? No, it's just a just a straight slash. Just uh, it's like, bah, uh, it's the, uh, you're all expecting this moment with the keyblade as he brings it forward, and then this this uh, this moment of like uh, like I here I am here for redemption. And uh, as the man looks up at the keyblade, the light shining down, there's a <laughs> it's, 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 it's a side, it's a side and a slash, and he just falls to the ground face forward. As he does, the uh, blue skinned individual, the only one left and remaining stands in the spot. Uh, 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 its attack prowess change, its demeanor changes, it just sort of stands loosely in the spot. Uh, but you are officially out of combat. Ooh. Okay. That was a doozy, gang. So, now I need to rescue cubs. <laughs> Timo's gonna reach into his bag Okay. Take out a snack and take a bite, and then the rage will go away. Juice box. Juice box. <laughs> Timo pulls out his uh, primitive Capri Sun. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then um, he'll walk over to the blue guy. And he, his, his eyes still have that little fl flittering of, of lightning that goes back and forth, but he's not registering. Um, Timo's gonna reach up and grab the manacle, or the thing around his neck. Okay. And try it and break it. Give me a strength check. I'll say the last bits of rage are still filtering out of your system <laughs> awesome. if you'd like to make that an advantage. Yes, please. Yeah. Not much better, but, uh, 8 plus 7, 15? Yeah, uh, Timo reaches up as he's drinking his juice box, and you've never seen a toddler angrily uh, eat a snack and do... Uh, yes, you all have. Uh, so, uh, 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 as uh, Timo reaches up and with one hand uh, snaps the collar. Um, with the snapping of the collar, the creature that is standing in front of you, Timo, looks down at you. They're gone, you're free. And we'll... 
If you're standing here, he will stand and walk behind you. And stand behind you. And surprise hug! <laughs> no, you're free. Go away. He, you, you send him away. Yeah, you harry, you try to harry in the Hendersons this, but it does. <laughs> uh, but it doesn't work. You send him away, and then he lines up back behind you, standing still, arms Not on his side. Uh, I don't want him. <laughs> now, Timo, you saved him. He's your responsibility. I don't want responsibility. <laughs> Proceed to lean up against the tree and light the, light the, uh, light, light the pipe with the uh, Now, son, monsters. if you catch a stray, like, <laughs> enslaved dead body that is powered by electricity, <laughs> would anybody else like to do anything? Is this creature, is there, and Timo's kind of freaking out. As Timo walks around, and is like, I don't want you. Go away. Like, it's following behind him. Well, we are on, we're still on the Oz side, right? Yeah. You are on the Oz side. Okay. Well, like, Yes, we know what we need to do next. We need to go back through and go find the kids. Yep. Yeah. You are. Wait. The... This, this guy was with the guy who took the kids. He yes. Might... Yes. Do you want to ask him? It seems like he's partial to you. Do you know where the kids are? There is no response as his mouth has been sewn shut. <laughs> Not gonna rip up and like rip the threads out. I um, will. <laughs> does it? Um, let me see if I have a knife. Hold on. Sorry. Um, I. Do, I'll pick up my javelin, and use the sharp oh, part God. to cut. Oh, it up. <laughs> <laughs> as as you go to do this, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pull out a small eating knife and go here. Use use this instead. Thank you. And then I, I will. I will. God, sleight of hand or medicine? I don't know. As you all entrusted the child yeah. to cut the, 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 no, the. No, Timo, Timo, please let me. Can I have the knife, please? Yes. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> it's probably a better idea. I don't know why. I, did. I, mean, yeah. I mean, I'm very tiny, so my eating knife is very tiny, too. Welcome to Indigo Chameleon. Just... Hey, we've said a lot of funny stuff tonight. You know what's not funny? Handing toddlers knives. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't toddlers. know. <laughs> spears are different. Lightning spears, even more different, but never knives. <laughs> 21 medicine. Yes, uh, with the 21 medicine check, you managed to cut through the, uh, the blackened um, uh, uh, thread that covers his mouth. He's like, hey, guys, how's... No, that's not... <laughs> that's not. Uh, uh, he still stands motionless, uh, uh, but his eyes dart over to where uh, Erlen is, and he will uh, stand behind Erlen after this act. <laughs> yeah. <His> pipe. <laughs> well, son. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to look up him. Can you take us to where the captain's been taking the kids? He turns and starts walking over towards this small clearing where you all were. Um, as he walks over towards where the clearing is, once again, this uh, keyblade starts to vibrate in his hands and the portal opens. Uh, and as the keyblade raises up, the figure takes a hand and presses the keyblade back down. The blue swirling energies of the portal being held by this figure uh, as the uh, last of the blue-skinned individuals looks at the rest of the group with um, featureless eyes, it will walk over towards where the portal is and place an outstretched hand to it and almost be absorbed into where the portal is. Not utilizing the portal, but almost like its energy is burned up in the process. As it does, the portal turns a dark, dark crimson red. Uh, not the yellow that was utilized before. That's not ominous. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, definitely. Timo's already walked through the door. Yep. Like, he just took off. <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> so you guys are like, well, I don't know if we should... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. Timo, wait! <laughs> I'll follow. Same. So, um, everyone jumps through the portal. Um, as you do, you find yourselves aboard the deck of a ship. 
where we end tonight's adventure is you all standing aboard the deck of this ship as a group of women uh, turn around and look at you, the crew entirely composed of women. Uh, and you hear a small, Captain, uh, as one of the women turns her head and looks up. As she does, a uh, an imposing figure aboard the deck of this ship uh, with a large hat atop her head looks over the railing. And as she does, she squints at the lot of you and f you realize that she is not standing and taller than everyone. She's floating in the air. Uh, this figure then floats down and lands in front of everybody and Timo recognizes her instantly. The purple skin, the wings, uh, uh, calling out to each of you. Uh, and she goes, oh no. I came to help you, Affy. Uh, a small <laughs> tiefling girl rolls her eyes and goes, ah. Are you guys here to rescue the kids too? Yep. Let's do it. <laughs> uh, and that's where we're going to end tonight's oh, adventure. Uh, uh, thank you all so much for tuning into tonight's adventure and uh, uh, and watching as we gave knives to children and T.E. Graves <laughs> saved everyone's butt by casting a bear totem. Uh, we, had a, uh, we had a key blade master. Uh, we had a, 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 a blue buddy. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and spirit guardians in the forms of, of Donald who didn't heal anybody. Um, Shit. Donald uh, was still useless. And, <laughs> dude, uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna forget the image of like a of of this character running through and then turning around and just seeing Edwin Reynolds as a flying deer, just be like. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so thank you all so much for tuning in. There is always a spot at the table for each and every one of you. Uh, we love you so much. Indigo Connect, and uh, hey, are we ever going to stop making deer fly? Never. 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 Uh, we'll see you all soon. Uh, do you, uh, do let's, you have a raid? Let's go say hi to Random Encounters. Let's go say hi to Random Encounters. Yay. Stay tuned. Yay. We love you. We love you. We love you. Yay.